Saturday. Oh, yeah, but we have a special guest tonight. This is our special guest. Our special guest is Great Granny Gertrude. But before we... Um, great, 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 great Granny Gertrude. But before we get into that, I'm going to say hi to all you guys in the chat because I know there's some folks anxiously waiting. Um, let's see, forgetful Friday. I have to see what... I have to see what stream we're, we're doing. Hey, we have Pam. Hello, Pam. Saturday. Hello, Mike. <laughs> hey, Jonathan. Welcome in. And Danny. It says, Oh, Penguin Master's here. Rhonda's here. Hello. Today's Friday, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what do I... <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. It's Survival Friday. It's not tea time. It's not. You told me it was Saturday. Yeah, but you agreed with me. <laughs> what is that on your face? It's a pimple. It looks it's like all a big good. point head. It's it so is. Cute. It's like, okay, thank you for pointing that out. We were saying hi to everybody that's in the stream. We've got, oh, I see Tina. And who else? I, mean, I think we got everybody. So they're all, you guys can all, all say hello to everyone. You threw everybody off. I did. Well, I threw myself off. Well, you only threw me I said, well, since it's, we don't know, it's, we didn't know that it's Survival Friday, so we're going to, we're going to be surviving, surviving the stream because we were doing tea time, but that's all good. We have, um, where did Hannah go? She like ran off on me. Um, <laughs> I filled my teapot up too full. But we have a fun show for you because we've got some informative, um, what, what should we call it? Foods. Um, healthy, beneficial foods to help you, um, I guess you would call it, not survive, but things that are good for you and medicinal purposes. So that's what we're going to talk about. And hello, Blaine. Medicinal. So it's kind of survival. It's like medicinal um, foods. Is, we're going to do medicinal foods, and green tea is one of those medicinal foods. Hello, Jeff. Welcome in. Um, so we were just kind of giving the rundown that we're going to talk about some, um, some medicinal foods. That we're going to have a little skip for you to start off, and then to wrap things up, we're going to see who can survive since it's Survival Friday. The slushy or the smoothie. smoothie. The smoothie. The, the, um, what do you call it? The mystery smoothie because we're going to let you guys pick what goes in it. So that'll be a we lot are? of fun. Yes, we're going to let them pick what goes in the smoothie. Like, no, that's not what we discussed. Oh, yes, that's what we're going to, we're going to let Please them. Please pop it. And it's I can't running. pop it. <laughs> Just pull it out with tweezers. Sorry, it's like super big. Um, so, anyways. Uh, I see our notification just went out. So we are going to, without further ado, full time dream. Hello, I didn't even see you squeeze in there. Welcome into our stream. So you're going to learn about some medicinal foods tonight. We're going to show you some of them. And, um, and then great, great granny Gertrude is going to give us a tour of what she survives with in her pocketbook. So, take it away, great, great, great Granny Gertrude. We're doing this now. First, we're opening up with the great, great Granny Gertrude. And look at, she's already got her lipstick marks all over the cup. I wouldn't have no. I wish. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Now everybody can see my giant pimple. <laughs> wow. So, okay, so, so great Granny Gertrude. Uh, great, 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 Granny Gertrude. What? Oh, this is an interesting earrings you have. <laughs> Do they hurt your ears? <laughs> Grannies wear clip-on earrings, you know. They are too. There are. There are clip-on earrings. Well, tell me. So tell me about your your pocketbook. Since we were doing survival um, survival things, she thought it would be fun to come on and show like how she survives with her pocketbook and all the great equipment that she I did. Oh, isn't that why you're here? Or you were just stopping by? I wanted to write on tea. You wanted to write on some tea? You're going to have to speak up, Great Granny Gertrude, or no one's going to be able to hear you. <laughs> so, 
So what do you got there? A big old bag. Well, it's pretty I heavy. just want to say before I start that this is very feminine products in here. So nothing manly at all. Nothing it's manly. It's very, very dainty and petite. Okay. It's dainty and petite. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So what do we have? To start with my outside pockets, I have a screwdriver. Oh, it looks very feminine. <laughs> it's a very feminine looking. Let's show them. Let's it show them. This looks like you could floral. use it. It's a floral screwdriver, you guys. Check that out. That's I a good survival I picked it up from tool. a flea market. Oh. Oh. And look at that. It even switches sides. You've got your Phillips head and you've got your... You've got your, I don't know what this is called, flathead. Neither do I. <laughs> hey, Tony, welcome in. And I have my X-Acto knife. Exacto knife? What do you do with that? Well, not only is it great to open some diaper packages. Oh, cuts open diaper packages. Oh, but okay. It is good to defend yourself against your uh, bad people. Bad people. All right. <laughs> That looks like a weapon. You can, It looks like a multi-purpose tool. That looks like a good weapon. The Exacto. Okay, they can't see it over there. We'll show them that. All right, so I thought you said this was just like a pocketbook which just had a few odds and ends in there. Yes, it does. Just a few odds and ends. It has a few. <laughs> I said it was going to be fun. Like, I thought we should do a, a, a this show. This pocket, them. Oh, oh. I have some Tiger Balm. Tiger Balm. Funny story one time. I thought it was actually lip balm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. It's not easy oh, being man. a 130-year-old, you know. In this Is that how old you are? 130? Yes, I was born wow. back in 1890. You don't want to get this tiger balm on your lips, that's for sure, yeah. in your eyes, because it's pretty medicinal. They really swelled up. But this works great on those sore muscles. I had some Kylie Jenner lips for a few. <laughs> <laughs> it plumped up your lips. They swelled up like Kylie Jenner's, huh? All right. <laughs> then so I have some some Buxom. actual lips. Lip. Uh, what is this? Lip, lip gloss. Uh, yeah. I thought your grannies wore lip gloss. I thought you wore like my lipstick. grandchildren picked it out from. Oh, me. you know what? I bet this makes your lips swell up too, because this is called Buxom Lip Pumper, and I have some of it, and it makes your lips tingle, kind of like the bag balm. <laughs> I thought it was um, it was some ketchup. Ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> nope, that's not ketchup. <laughs> so, what else you got in that purse? In your pocketbook, I should say. Um, I have a magnifying glass. Oh, I need one of those. It helps me spot objects. Objects. Bugs. It helps you spot objects or read your book. Yes, very easily. That's very great, and I think it has a flashlight. Yeah, I don't think it works. Yep, it's got two. Uh, everybody needs one of these. It's got a, a magnifying, the big and little, the magnifying glasses. <laughs> uh, now we shall move on. Wait, do I have something in here? What else do you got in there? Oh, no, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in that pocket. <laughs> Show us the good stuff, Granny. Now, in um, this pocket. Just a few. We shall start with this. Oh, just a few <laughs> medicine, I guess. We have some Advil. My um, my Achilles surgery didn't go well. Oh, so. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. oh, and some diarrhea stuff, I see. Does that happen frequently? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we have some Mucinex for, for your cough. Yeah. Oh, and I have some Pepto-Bismol. I had a... Um, I had my large intestine took it out last year, and I've had um, <laughs> digestive issues, obviously. Yeah. Got a lot of medications some... in there. Oh, motion sickness. I don't... What does this say? Alka-Seltzer. Oh, it says Amma... Amma... Prazole. I don't know what that is. <laughs> hey, smile, Granny. Oh, I thought you had some lipstick on your teeth. I guess it you... It says... Delayed release tablets, 20 milligrams acid reducer. Oh, okay. A lot I don't of know digestive. What that is. You have a lot of digestive issues. So this is just your small tad bit bag of of supplies that every survival person should have with them. Next up. Especially I when you're traveling. My Oh. Your travel pads. My poor thing. Pads. Um your depends. They really, yeah. Depends. They really help. Um 
You know, I'm old and all. When you can't make it to the bathroom in time. <laughs> um, and they're great for men, too. I think they work all around through the family. Have... You can't travel without these babies, just in case you can't make it to yeah. the bathroom. I need <laughs> these. These are, these are good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Well, you can leave it out. Oh, some good old-fashioned duct tape. Not only does it help me patch up my clothing, because I'm not very good at soap. Sewing, but it helps me patch up holes in my life. Holes in your life? Oh, okay. So this is what you use for sewing since you're not too good at it. I that's a good idea. I'm gonna probably have to use this this idea. It's duct tape. You know that duct tape, it's good for everything. I bet you guys out there have used uh used it to patch up something. Is in fact today we just patched up the dog bed because she chews the dog bed and pulls all the stuffing out. So I do know. No, not you, our dog. I'm just saying that it's got it's a good a good thing to carry in the purse. Then I oh. have some good prunes. Um <laughs> and um these are great for my digest digestive system. They really help me let it all out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the natural version, but Great, 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 Granny um, Gertrude. These expired in um, January of 2006. <laughs> Have you been eating these? No, no wonder you need all this other medication for your digestive <laughs> issues. They're a, a bit old. Does it say that? Yes. Well, well, you know what? Food doesn't expire. It's fine. It lasts forever. <laughs> well, wait. If that expired, I have some. <laughs> now, where were they? Um, what else? What else do you have? But I have these little things. Oh. Christmas of 1975. Every good grandma has those in her purse, right? And, and you know what? We never know what year they came from. Was it last Christmas or was it like five Christmases ago? I but I guess this is probably something that doesn't expire. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you eat these? Do you, um... Do you just eat the candy canes forever, or do you kind of throw them out after a certain amount? Like, how good do you think they're good for? We don't know. Is and it safe? We, can you survive on candy canes? My succulents, <laughs> Bob and Karen, they really help me keep company throughout my little... <laughs> succulents? What are you doing with succulents in your pocketbook? Well, my grandchildren don't come visit me often because they think I'm crazy. Oh. So I have succulents around the house to keep me company. Bob... Oh, you like you like flowers. I noticed you have some pretty flowers in your hair. Yes, or in your hat. I this guy he he was very nice to offer me some. Or no, he didn't offer me any. That's right. I picked I picked them from his garden. He didn't seem too happy about that. <laughs> so you just picked some flowers on the way yeah, over here from someone's yard. I don't know if they're yard. very um <laughs> very. I don't know if they're safe. I saw him watering them with some weird chemical. <laughs> <laughs> and then. On top of that, I'm allergic to flowers, so you know it doesn't really, doesn't really go well with my, my, <laughs> what is it called? Allergies. Hello, <laughs> Grandma, are you there? <laughs> She's blanking out. I guess there's a little uh, forgetfulness going on, but you know what? We have a cure for that when we get into our medicinal <gasps> oh, section. Oh no! I think my succulent <sighs> broke. Your succulent. <laughs> That's okay. It's obviously well, not real. Well, me company in the bathroom. And uh, what did I say her name was again? I I don't know. I don't know her name. You name your, your succulents? Alexandra. Alexandra. She helps me. I talk to her. I think we should leave our succulents out and decorate. That'll look pretty on our on our, on our our set. We can decorate with your succulents. All right, right here. We can put it there. Oh, and then what do you have? Next oh. up, I have my... <laughs> My medicinal candle, and um, <laughs> not only is a romal, romalpedic, but um, Ara aromatic. <laughs> yeah, but when I use the bathroom, like I said before, I have some really digestive problems. So I really need to get this going in the bathroom so I don't leave a big mm -hmm. stench behind. <laughs> oh, I, it freshens up the air. So you bring your own, like air freshener candle to to use in the restroom when you go mm -hmm. it's probably it's probably from eating all those expired prunes i'm sure mm. <laughs> what else do you have for us great 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 grand what gertrude prunes? prunes the prunes the prunes you were showing us in your purse those are mine 
<laughs> yeah, those were yours. Uh, uh, and um, I have this old bib in here. Oh, I think this was my son's. Oh, he was born back in the nineteen nineteen thirties. Oh my goodness! But I see you probably use it when you eat too, just in case you could catch a few extra leftovers. No. No, I don't. I don't a wear bib. this. I a bib. A bib. She's got an old bib. But, you know, it's waterproof, so I'm sure it could come in handy for some, some use. Right? Anyways, what else? It's quite the survival gear you got in there. <laughs> and, you know, next up, I got some hand sanitizer. It's my great moisturizer. Moisturizer? <laughs> I put this on every time. I um, Before I go out, you know, to really liven me up. I get... <laughs> <laughs> Do you put it all over your body? <laughs> Oh, not just your hands? I do. It is called hand sanitizer. It's not body sanitizer. Or you use that just in case you bring anything home. You just, like, sanitize everything. Yeah. No. Yeah, I sanitize myself with it. Because sometimes I can get really ripe, especially in the summer, which we are nearing those months. <laughs> so, next up, I have my um dentures. Aren't you wearing your dentures? Yeah, but these are backup dentures. Oh, because you must, like, lose the other ones. I, I got to say, dearie, you need to get rid of that. <laughs> it's really <laughs> bothering me. Sorry. You don't I, have to mention that anymore, great, great, granny Gertrude. Here I do. Yeah. Are you done in there yet? Oh, we got mench more. <laughs> we have this rechargeable, um, what is this? Um... Is this um, a taser? It's not a taser. Um. I don't know. It's in your purse. It's in your pocketbook. Oh, look at my toe! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that it does. What, is your what else does it do? When's the last time you used it? <laughs> um, well, I was, um, I, um, back when. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Let's see what it does. How do we charge it? <laughs> Here. Does it make sounds? Back in. Back when I was done. Oh, look at that, Tony. This is a cool little thing. It's annoying my ears. Back when I was. Can you hear that well? Back in 1960. I was kidnapped from. Bye. You were kidnapped. They're bringing back bad memories. I'm sorry. Okay. So this and is really handy, though. I happened to have this when he dumped me out in the wood in the wilderness. Oh, and it doesn't even need any batteries. This is a really good survival. Uh, what are the green lights for? Do we know? <laughs> gr gr granny, are you okay? <laughs> All right. Well, that's another good survival tool. I would say that's a, a good thing to have in your purse. Um, next up, we have... Um... <laughs> Extra bucks. This CBS. is from 2004. A coupon from 2004. Extra That's one. Not going to help you. Yeah. All right. Next up. I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you need some of your, um, here, maybe you need some of your um, medication. Yeah, sworn. I had something else in here. Well. Um. I have, we'll go back to this pocket, I have... I know, all those pockets can get confusing, right, ladies? You put it some, in one pocket and then you can never find it again because you have to, like... Here and free, right. baby! Oh. <laughs> I'm not getting... I do that. I like a purse that just has one big opening and then everything is in the one spot. I'm I don't have to search that. through, like, every single... I'll I don't want to I don't wanna flash I don't people. have to search through, like, every single pocket in the bag. And when you go to Disneyland, you definitely don't want a bag that has like 50 pockets because then you got to open every single one of them and um, get them searched, and that's no fun. And then you just end up taking up the whole line. So it's much better to have a park bag that has limited pockets. A few are okay, like if you're good at organizing and you know what's in your pockets, but I don't remember what are, what's in there once I put it in there. What were we doing again? I don't know. You were showing us your pocketbook. I think you got, I think you did pretty well. I think, um, Granny, we got through all of it. Yeah. So thank and you. And then, and then. Um, is it tea time? Maybe you should, maybe you need some tea. 
I can, I can have some tea here. That's what you came over for, to have some tea with me. But it tastes like ground up dirt. Oh. No, no, it tastes good. And we're going to... um. Don't pop it. No, don't pop it. So we're going to... um, We're going to show um, all of our guests that we have here tonight with us. We're going to give them some information about some other medicinal things like the green tea and um, some other fun things. Hey, Ra, how are you? Some other fun things. <laughs> hey, Mike. Welcome in. And um, let's see. We're going to, we, we got that. Oh, and then later on, like we said, we're going to let you guys pick from all of our medicinal supplies or foods. You're going to make us a smoothie. Yeah, and then we're going to drink it and see if we survive my the smoothie. My pocketbook doubles as a good um, whammy bag to, you know... Oh, you just you just wham everybody with your pocketbook. Yeah. You can demo. You'll get a demonstration. I also have a watch that doesn't tick, so I don't know why I'm wearing it. I don't think I can get it off. Oh. Well, as long as your ticker's still ticking, we're we're good. What's a ticker? Your heart. <laughs> <laughs> so I will fill up your tea, and then we'll get all your supplies. Why don't you give me your pocketbook, Granny, and then we'll get all the stuff out of the way. And then you can you can say hi to all the other. Oh dear! Oh, it's guess, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening. Let's put all this back in your pocketbook, Granny. Some bowel movement. Oh, okay. Why don't you go have your, you know? Oh no! Your your issue. <gasps> and then I'll be here. That reminds me. I forgot to take the brown thing out of my bag. What brown? <laughs> what, what brown thing? What brown thing? <laughs> Well, you see, um, I had an accident the other day. Did and, you just um, have an accident in my chair? <laughs> no. <laughs> see, I had um, a leftover piece of chocolate or chocolate in my bag. Wasn't chocolate? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> my. Okay, then. Thank you, Great Granny, for um, coming over and, um, and visiting. Hopefully you can come back again. Sometime soon. Maybe we shouldn't give you the prunes. I don't think. I think that's causing all of your digestive no, no, issues. I need one. I need no, no, I don't think you should be eating those prunes. Eat she eats them as well. Uh, well, you're gonna be needing a lot of this other stuff if you eat that. She's eating it. Oh, and your air freshener. You don't want to forget the air freshener. <laughs> Everybody else is gonna be like unhappy about that. Here you go. Here's your here's your big old pocketbook. We'll get it all zipped up for you. Oh no, you can go. Okay. Uh, you can go bring Hannah back. <laughs> here's your pocketbook, okay. Granny. There we go. Anyways, so that was a little fun. <laughs> Hannah's back. I said I said she looked more like a a little. I don't know. She didn't look like so much of a granny to me. But skirt's really itchy and it's like she's gonna be me a rash. rash. Anyway, so I am gonna teach you guys. Hey, Sean, Mickey Sightings, welcome in. We're gonna teach you, you like, um, some um, fun facts about well, what we're drinking right now. Oh, I did. I said hi to Mike. Hello, Mike Polito and Fantastic Chronicles and Tony. Disney Nerd Herders, you guys all snuck in there. We were just doing a fun little, just kind of a, a fun little thing in my bobber. Hey, we got 20 <laughs> likes. Don't forget to smash the right. like button. Okay, I'm going to change the skirt. It's really itchy. Mom, I can't get this off. I can't get it off. <laughs> oh, all right, well, it's off now. <laughs> so what's new, guys? Is everyone getting excited about going to the parks? They're opening. And before I forget, I wanted to give a shout out to Rhonda at Dances with Goofy because she's the one who gave Garrett the the tip that um, the uh, Disneyland Park was opening the day. She he was giving her like she gave him the heads up to like go check it out that the um, parks were opening. So um, that is what we are excited about. Web Slingers, what do you have up there? Open house goes web. Open house goes. Hey, why? Oh, that's the one that's going to be over at Marvel, Marvel Land and Disney California Adventure. And I think the it was... The Avengers Yeah. Um, and I think it was supposed to open this summer, like but... To shoot webs. What? That looks like a really cool uh, attraction. 
but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of guessing. I think I heard that they were working on it, but it's going to be maybe delayed a little bit. What? So, um, that will be pretty cool. We can always use it. Any help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. So, um, Monarch Moon, are you? Oh, yes, we're always, we're always looking for for um, help. But it's it always fun. ideas, too. Um, but so this is going to be, and then there's going to be some other stuff. Going, Ask me to fix it. Yeah, what do you think of this? Um, it's, called the, it's called the Web Slinger. So it is, I'm trying to see, it's like kind of small on my screen. <laughs> can't can't see um does it say any age any any height like it doesn't look like it's going to be limited like a family ride that anybody can go on i'm trying to see what you do it looks very interesting so i don't remember looks like you're right around huh? looks like you're right around and how many do we already do we know an adventures campus like how many attractions there's going to be i don't know like totally i don't know I have forgotten all of the details. <laughs> I just know we've been looking forward to it because it had um, it's going into where Bugs Land used to be, and we're really kind of sad that that went away. And hoping when they bring in Avengers Campus, there's going to be some stuff for the kids because um, when they took out Bugs Land, they took out a lot of the kid kid things. One thing I did see that they were going to have some food, like a restaurant. I think Garrett, or was it a brewery or something? They're going to have some kind of restaurant there, which will be nice because. Um, that particular area of the park didn't have a whole lot of food um, choices. So that'll be nice if they've got a little um, food area over there. And what else did we learn? We learned that it over in, um, I know a lot of you guys are Walt Disney World folks, but we did learn that at the Disneyland Resort, the Disneyland Hotel has no opening date, even though the park is opening, um, scheduled to open on the 17th. And the California Grand California Hotel and the Paradise Pier Hotel are scheduled to open July 23rd, which is 17, 18, 19, like six days after the park opens. So when it first opens, there's going to be no, no hotels, uh, no, what do you call it, um, Disney Resort hotels <clears throat> open for the guests to stay there. So that first week, it will be interesting how they uh you know give priority to the people and i think a lot of people are still wondering how that's going to happen um oh and then there's going to be an adventures headquarters it looks like at the park too and we also saw that there was um on the app today and i don't know garrett was it the disneyland app or the disney world app disneyland, disneyland app they loaded um a new um queue a wait a waiting queue what do you call that virtual queue. virtual queue um so it looks like they're kind of you know preparing for that i haven't checked on the disney world app but it looks like um that's how they're going to maybe handle the lines for the rides for the attractions is via a virtual queue so in a way even though the fast pass has gone away and it sounds like the magic morning's gone away um it sounds like the um waiting is thank you kind of going to be like a fast pass anyway like a virtual queue so you just um I'm trying to remember how that works. You get in the queue, you get your number, and then when it's your time, they tell you to go to the ride. And then you kind of don't really have to wait in line. You just kind of linger about the park and do other things. So that yeah. might actually, that might end up working really well. For us. Just for anybody. It depends. People <laughs> might like it so much that they want to, won't want to go back to the old way. Who knows? Plus, what are we talking the only about? thing we're concerned about is, um, Garrett, I think he saw something. There's a petition, go figure, in California trying to stop was it trying to stop the opening of disneyland at least in july i think that was the that was the news i forgot the whole i forgot the whole news but that there's there's Sorry. some people that are trying to prevent it i think from opening so i'm hoping that that doesn't that that doesn't happen but we'll we'll find out i don't know when all that that goes down it's interesting that disneyland hotels are not oh, open but camera parks check are. Um, Disney nurse herders, yeah, um, nerd herder, yeah, that Disneyland does have a lot more locals that go to the park, so maybe that's one of the reasons that they're not opening the hotels right at the same time the park is opening. Um, we're just kind of curious what they're doing to the Disneyland hotel that it's not opening at the same time. Maybe they just don't feel like there's going to be enough people, or maybe it's something to do with crowd control. 
Grand Californian has their own security entrance to the park. So I don't know if they're doing, you know, something, you know, with that. And they're also not renewing any annual passes or selling any new tickets. So pretty much the people that are going to be able to go um, in it, when it first opens, hoping it's July, um, are only going to be people that, you know, already had a, an annual pass that hasn't expired. Um, if you are afraid that it's expiring, make sure that it hasn't been you, you may not expire when you think you do if you had it um, extended. I think that's what it's called, extended, so that they just kind of paused it while the parks were closed. And then once the parks open, they add on that many days to your annual pass. So you can still um, use it. Some people got money back or reimbursed. And then um, those people won't, I don't think, be able to use their pass because then it may be expired. So, um, yeah. And then there's people that bought tickets probably a while ago and have tickets that... Um, are valid, you know. <laughs> oh, yay. Um, so there's some people that have tickets, even though you can't buy new tickets, some people bought, you know, maybe a park hopper pass or some tickets that are good through a certain date. Um, and I think they've maybe extended the use of some of those tickets, but those are the ones that people can use to get into the park. And then regardless of if you have a ticket or an annual pass, you still are going to have to get on some reservation system because they are, they said they're going to be very limiting the, um, the people in the park. So... We will see. Michelle is on screen, Mike, and the younger girl that comes in will be Hannah. Oh, <laughs> this is, oh, who's on here? This is Hannah and um, this is me. And mean. then the other thing that's on screen is the picture. Right now we're showing Mike. Um, Mike is the Avenger campus. It looks like a picture in the dark. Yeah, the virtual cubes. Um, yeah. Uh, so there's a good chance that we're going to have to get virtual cubes if we go to Disney. At least we oh, get to go, the though. Disney nerd herders are going in August to Walt Disney World. Nice. Cool. Um, eating five, Jonathan's eating five Oreos. <laughs> Even nicer. Oh, my. Hey, Myron kids. Welcome into the stream. We were just talking. What is he doing? We, so what are we doing next? Are we so going to do the we were gonna do, thing, um, or are we going to talk about no, we're green gonna, tea? We're going to talk about some um, foods. We're just kind of, you know, we're drinking green tea, um, and there's a lot of illness going on right now and a lot of these there's a lot of foods that have very healthy um benefits so even though it's like survival friday it's kind of like how to survive and like boost your immune system i guess we would call it um so we will um kind of talk a little bit so now green tea um there's a lot of there's different forms of green tea there's um there's like a matcha tea which is a powder like a very powdery you have it's yeah, I have it. I don't know if you've, you've seen it. I don't know that I care for the matcha. Garrett drinks that. The matcha's good. Yeah, and then there's just the regular tea leaves, you know, that you're used to. But here's a fun fact about green tea. Well, first of all, it's called the anti-aging beverage. So that Which automatically a lot. makes me want to drink it. <laughs> um, it's probably like an acquired taste. It's almost like a green vegetable. Like It's got a lot of nutritional benefits. So if you don't like to eat your green vegetables like Brussels sprouts or broccoli or spinach, those are good. A lot of those, well, some people don't like it, but you can probably get a lot of those same benefits <laughs> from drinking green tea. Um, so put down the Oreos and slowly back away. <laughs> At what age like does it help benefit? A dozen a day keep the doctor away. No, we say an apple a day keeps the doctor Hello, away. Mr. Gilbert. Um, what was that? How many a day does Dane's it benefit? Your dad. Hey, Gilbert. Like, like. Uh, well, Danger. When is it too late to start drinking green tea? It's never too late to start drinking green tea. So here's the, here's some of the benefits. And you guys, um, feel free to like dump in, chime in, and comment if you have any information that I might have missed, um, or that is a possibility. Things that you like or don't like about green tea, or fun ways to drink it that maybe I didn't think about. Obviously, you can drink it hot, like tea, or cold, like iced tea. Um, and I think the matcha powder you can put in like smoothies or you can put in, um, you know, maybe sprinkle it on a salad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And Garrett, I was saying he's got the picture of the matcha tea right there. So it looks a little bit different than the regular tea you would think of. It's like a green powder and it does have kind of a, and you add kind a, of a little bit of a gritty taste. You just add it straight taste. in. Yeah. yeah you, you add it straight in. You could probably I've do that. I've had it with, with milk. It, it, I've had it with milk and it tastes pretty good. It, it's, it's 
it's like in Th- that it, makes me think that when I go to Starbucks, I should be drinking like green tea smoothies instead of like the Java chip frappuccinos that I love I get so much. Like... The refreshers, yeah, but I love those Java chip frappuccinos. Too bad they can't make that. I guess they could make that with Gil- green tea. Gilbert has two of those. Does he really? Are you kidding? That's the new um, Care Bear. Care Bear. Um, the Care Bear. Did you say you don't? Yeah, I think he's joking. <laughs> Duncan's has some green tea drinks. Oh, okay. So here, so this is probably why. Um, another interesting fact that I did not know is that green, black, and oolong teas all come from the same plant. Really? Yeah, oh. I would. I thought there was like a green tea plant and a black tea plant, and you know all these different teas, like dandelion. You know, dandelion is a plant, and there's um, dandelion tea. So I is. just thought <laughs> they all had their own, but they don't. They all come from the same plant, which is called a Camellia sinensis, which I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that they don't have the correctly. Oh, let's know. What was that? <laughs> they never have the Java chips there. Oh my gosh, that's my total favorite um, Starbucks drink is the Java chip frappuccino. Mine it's is like the chocolate. pink drink. And if people don't know, I don't know if it's, I, I thought they were chocolate chips, but Java chips, they must be like the coffee. Are they like coffee bean chips and maybe coated in chocolate or something? To me, they tasted chocolatey. Um you should football. know that you're a chocolate he's talking expert. about he's talking about football. I'm talking about green tea. So the difference between um, the green back and the oolong is the way that they're prepared. So they take fresh leaves from the plant, um, and I think they lightly steam them to make the green tea um, that they you know that they produce. Really? I don't know how they do it with the. I don't know what they do if they like dry the leaves or something to get the black tea. Maybe that's why they turn brown. The right. Huh? Those are fighting words in the Steelers. <laughs> They're talking about um, other things. So here's the benefits. And there's like a whole ton of benefits. Um, it improves your mental alertness. Obviously, that's because it's one of the teas that has a lot of caffeine in it. So if you're thinking of drinking it for like a medicinal reason, maybe like they say two to five cups. I think five cups would be way too many. I would be like, Ooh, if I'm not already like that, you know, already like that, I don't need extra caffeine. But I guess it's a good way to start the day, jump, give you a little jump start in the morning if you want to switch from coffee to um, green tea and get your, your kick. You can still do that. And it, you, hey, great, great granny Gertrude, it relieves digestive symptoms. I know. And plus, if you don't <laughs> like the tea, sometimes it can, uh, it's a little bitter. Uh, honey is a great alternative to get natural sugar and it's oh, still somewhat still healthy and Rhonda says um green tea is less processed than the black so yeah i think that's what they're, they're saying that it's just lightly green steamed. tea is my favorite whose is green green tea is whose favorite mine oh it's your favorite <laughs> oh i thought someone on the screen was like green tea is their favorite um and i do like herbal tea so it also relieves headaches which is interesting maybe it's maybe it's the caffeine and it shrink because caffeine would would it shrink or dilate your blood vessels wouldn't it shrink them it would do something, I don't know, to get, Alexa when you need. get rid of a headache. To get rid of a headache, if it was helping with your headaches, what is it doing to your blood vessels? I would think it was shrinking them, but I could be wrong. Because if it helps it with It just alertness, helps with the headache, okay. It helps with your headaches. It promotes weight loss. Um, again, so maybe you're... because the caffeine makes you jittery and then you're not hungry. I'm not sure why. Uh, <laughs> and then... But if you don't... Uh, but if you... You're, you like tea, and you want to get on a diet, and you also don't feel like getting up and working out. Or eating your vegetables. <laughs> do the green tea. Um, so it has this component called EGCG, if I can read my writing, um, that possibly protects EGCG. against... EGCG. EGCG possibly protects against heart disease and cancer, um, and it's because it's, it helps <clears throat> to lower your blood pressure and um, balance out your cholesterol. <laughs> because not all cholesterol is bad. Some you want good, there's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. So yeah. you don't necessarily want to like lower all your cholesterol because you want to keep your good cholesterol balanced. Um, here's an interesting fact. I'm going to have to make it PG, but it's FDA approved as a, with a specific component of the green tea for treating warts in a certain area of the body. <laughs> I won't go into details there. You can use your imagination. Um, <laughs> <laughs> keeping no, it family mom, friendly you are, you're, you're 
so so or no sorry you're not that um i've never had that problem but you know you do get warts in certain areas of the body but yeah, i have a wart on my knee no it's not that kind of wart. Oh. anyway uh <laughs> i'm not sure how you would treat that dab it on there like dab the tea on there i'm not really sure it didn't say specifically um it also may interact with certain medications that you're taking so you would want to make sure as always if you're because you kind of can treat it like treat it like a supplement um where you don't want to overdo too much of a good thing, right? Um, so too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Yeah, That's too much like, of a... like you don't want to wear too much perfume, or else you smell really, really stinky, or you put too much jewelry on, you look like a living diamond. You know, you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> too much of a good thing is always is too much. Um, so it's also high in protective polyphenol, <laughs> polyphenols and antioxidants. <laughs> Um, and because it regulates your blood sugar, it helps with diabetes. So it's good to, you know, regulate that. Another thing which is interesting, it helps with our, our, um, oh. Parkinson's and Alzheimer because it actually can restore some brain cells. I didn't even delays know that that was possible. It also delays, it delays the deterioration of the brain, but it actually, it says in some cases can help restore your brain cells. I'm not sure. I thought like once they were dead, they were dead. So it's... It's up to you, but hey, whatever helps. I can I can help. Um, <laughs> I can help restore. I can help. See, you can see. I need help getting my brain cells restored. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, you should drink that instead of coffee. Now, this is interesting. It helps with tooth decay because, as you know, we have bacteria in our mouths, and then that's the plaque. The bacteria feeds off the Maybe plaque some sort that of... gets left over from the food. Yeah. So it helps because it destroys bacteria and viruses. So any bacteria or viruses that can get in your throat or your mouth, yeah. it actually, um, I guess you could call it antiviral, which everybody needs some yes, of that these so days, right? There's in the world that we often miss some facts about one thing and we <laughs> overlook it. <laughs> We're like really selling them. And we have no uh, monetary stake in uh, the sale of green tea. <laughs> Just yes. A, a Buy yours today for fifty percent off your first purchase. And we have it on sale today for a hundred dollars an ounce. <laughs> oh, we need money. <laughs> just, just kidding. There. Um, it does help with depression, so that's a nice bonus, a nice perk. Um, and as we already said, it's antiviral. Um, so then there's like we said, different ways that you can drink it or eat it. Or... You can put it in a smoothie. You can put it in a popsicle. In... That is true. <laughs> green tea ice cream. There's green tea ice cream. Milk I'm sure tea. that they've made that. There is. <laughs> um, I'm starting a detox tea. You know, I st I tried the I tried a detox tea. tea and it was really good. It sounds like it would taste nasty, but the one that I had, I'll have to do. It. We're gonna do um when we do what tea, does detox do? I forgot. It, it flushes your body. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do um on the next tea time with Hannah and Michelle. Which tomorrow. Maybe, maybe tomorrow night. We're going to talk about teas, other teas, like a lot of different kind of teas and healing benefits because we think it'll be fun. Um, Wait, it makes you get so we're going to so what kind of detox? Table? It cleanses your it cleanses 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 your body. She keeps saying cleanser. It's cleanser. It cleans your body out is what a detox is. So moving. Well, it's clean. When it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what are you, are you putting doing? up? Are You're putting up trophies. <laughs> Oh, uh, is that well? The you know what, Mike? Legally... Mike, we're really happy to have you here on our channel. We like to welcome everybody, and Aww. Um, yes, and feel free to. Um, we appreciate everybody here. I know it's it's yes. a struggle to just get people on our no. screen. <laughs> so but we, we like just to, but we like to include all people. of our viewers, even though it sounds like I'm like talking to you all about tea. You, you guys can chime in and let us know if you have um, any kind of favorite. Um, Maybe medicinal remedy that you use because um, next up. Okay, I gotta wash my clothes. We're gonna move on from tea and I'm going Wait, to. Where are you talk going? About tea. I gotta wash this stuff off my face. It's really disgusting. Just use my Pond's cold cream. That works for everything. Just wipe the Pond's on there. It'll be perfect. I know, but it's, it's really good. So we've got all these football guys that have nothing to do with um, our tea discussion, but. Moving on, some of the things that I'm going to show you, you guys are going to be able to pick from and make us into a, you're going to help, we're going to make it into a smoothie. Want to be a part of it. She wants to be a part of the discussion. We're going to make a, a fun smoothie. Hopefully you guys don't make it too nasty. 
It would be nice to have something edible because Hannah says we have to drink the whole thing so we don't waste it. But before we get to that, I'm going to tell you about some more fun foods. Um, and one of them, I'm going to bop over here because I'm going to do it while she's talking, is Korean melon. It's called, I saw it in the store and Hannah's kind of been on this Korean kick lately. I don't know. She wants to speak Korean and do all this stuff. So I saw this thing called Korean melon. And so I, uh, I don't know. I just picked it up in the store. So it's already chopped up, so you can't see the outside of it. Um, now, where did my Korean melon go? I hid it. I think it looks like an apple. Where did it go? It is not even here. It looks like an apple. So, so the interesting thing about this is I'm sure that it's, um, I'm sure that it's healthy. It's called Korean melon, and it's pretty much like white. It looks like an apple. Now, has anybody ever... So once you cut it up, it's like a little melon in it. It kind of looks like a cantaloupe. It's yellow on the outside with kind of stripes. So it almost looks like a squash or a pumpkin. And then um, you cut it up and you can actually cut it into slices like apple slices when you eat it. And it kind of smells a little bit like a cantaloupe. But the thing about this one is it's super crunchy, like crunchy like an apple, not squishy or soft and chewy. Or I guess soft like um, a watermelon where you bite it and it's like real juicy. Um, and I was just looking to see because I forgot I had a lot of other things. Um, a camel, by no means are we being supported by the Raiders. What? <laughs> or do they um, sponsor us? Anyway, it's just, um, it's a good dietary choice to fill you up. And like I said, it's crunchy. It does, um, it has fiber, it has vitamin Raider C. Raider Nation. And since summer's coming up. It. Here, I'll give you a it smells like, um, it's pretty good. I'm a little hungry. But we'll I don't keep like melon, this. but I'm eating it. And I thought it would be fun to go to the store and buy all these weird foods that I've never had before. So I think we're going to be doing that maybe on another stream. I'm going to go to the grocery store and like find these things and then we're going to try and figure it out and prepare them. Um, and maybe we'll all learn something about, you know, you see stuff in the grocery store and you're like, oh, that's an interesting fruit. Like, how do you even... How do you even use it, or what do you do with it? Like one time we got a yellow watermelon. Was it a yellow watermelon? Yeah, it was yellow. We and were like expecting this red one, and we opened like this. Oh, that's right. It was a yellow like, watermelon, what is wrong and I've with never it? seen a yellow watermelon. But at least I kind of knew it was a watermelon and how to eat it. Another time we got yellow kiwi. They're called gold kiwi. They're golden. Golden kiwi, best fruit ever. Like the green kiwi is a little tart, kind of like a sweet and sour, but the gold kiwi. So There's something weird sweet about kiwi. And juicy. It has a it's little sweet, um, but it it makes my like mouth burn. Or, like, it's tingle. yeah, it it's does. Weird. It has like a little tingly. It's probably something in it that does that. Oh well, yeah, so, probably. Um, has anybody? Oh, I, I lost everybody. Let me no, see you just, here. No, you pushed I know I'm in the wrong spot. The link. Um. So Hello, do Mr. you guys? Ken. Oh hey, Kay, Ken. Timu. How are you? Timu. We're talking about. It's called Oriental. Who's it's Timu. Called, Timu, I don't know. It's called Oriental. Is it Oriental Melon? What was I just talking about? Cor Korean Melon. It's Korean Melon, but it's also called Oriental Melon. So maybe Ken's had it because he's in Japan. Um, if it's Korean, he's in Japan. Though. It's called Oriental though, so it's it's. Probably Did you something. not hear what you just said? It's a Korean Melon. But no, he it's also, in Japan. It's called Oriental, so it's like all over the Orient, and I believe that that's one of the Oriental countries: China, Japan, Korea, Vietnam. Yeah, not what. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, just asking. Now, I don't particularly care for cantaloupe. I don't like melon or cantaloupe or watermelon or but, this thing. But you know what? Anyway, we'll leave this here for like possibly our um our slut our so what is I it? thought our we were I thought we were picking the ingredients. Like I'm I think it'd be more fun to have them pick. Okay. What do you guys want? Do you guys want to pick the ingredients for our our smoothie, or do you think? Um, I should pick them and give them to Hannah. How, I don't know how we should do so it. I, so what I was thinking of that, so I turn around and I blindfold myself and mom puts a bunch of ingredients, like weird ones, and then whatever I can choose, sure, I can food. choose how many ingredients you want to pick, like six? Six ingredients? I don't know. Maybe like... Yeah, we could do six, but I think you guys should pick instead of e me picking. We Hannah. should do like a couple rounds. And then, and then... Whatever I touch, that's what I have to put in my smoothie. I put, but we have to like have like liquids. 
So I don't know what's out there, so I like have to like pick. And that what I touch is what I put in my smoothie, and I have to drink it all because we're not wasting food here at Monarch Moment. <laughs> Ron is like most of the Hello, Mrs. Part, Shelley. most of the produce. Hey Shelly, most of the produce in the markets uh, um, is imported. Oh, most of the produce at the markets in Korea is imported. Oh, I would thought you were saying a lot of the produce from our markets is imported too, and I think that Korean melon was actually from Mexico, but I'm not really sure. It's so rich. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, it's an oriental melon in Asia, and it's called the green melon sweet. that was butter grown ball in Mexico. Butterball is too long to type out. Butterball. My favorite produce item is Oreos. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have chocolate Ore We have chocolate stuff. We should Oreos. add that in our smoothie. That can be an option for the smoothie. We also got we brownie would... brittle. We uh, skimmed over the chocolate mushrooms. I'm sorry, Mom. You what? You skipped over the chocolate mushrooms? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, be a... Let me see. Mocha we should add of... seaweed. We can add um, barbecue sauce. Good night, Disney nerd herders. If you haven't left already, good night. Thank you for jo joining, hopping in. Um, My face feels so, so But I have to. We have to give them the scoop on. We're still doing our medicinal thing. They can think about what we're gonna eat on our smoothie. So do you guys want to pick the ingredients? But or... no, we're not ready yet. But yeah, let what us do know. You mean? Mike said something like, uh, "I don't know if he was answering my question." He said. Be a part of the conversation in the chat and what's going on Why the screen, but laughing? I think he's talking about some totally different thing. I think they're having two different conversations going on. So next up, I'm going to show you my concoction. Where is it? Where is my concoction? You didn't even throw it out, did you? It's behind the rice. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, it is um daikon daikon. This is courtesy. <laughs> Why is, are you laughing? What's so courtesy? funny? Are they ignoring us? This is. Are you putting stuff on my head? Or are you making us like look funny on the camera? Why are you putting a bunch of... <laughs> hey, at least he's laughing. Oh my gosh. All right. So we're going to move our tea over here because it's empty. Miss Hannah like slurped it down. And now we're going to tell you about... Oh, I got to get the... Um, um, I have to get the... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I get those are the, horrible I have, colors i have to get the daikon so you guys can they are clashing they need a better um stylus for their jerseys or whatever oh and i got a beat too <laughs> what are they called uniforms i got all kind of fun things for our family to eat because we're going to be healthy this is going to be what is this <laughs> is an orange what was it a yellow a beet, beet. It's a beet, so I'm going to show I you. I thought they're supposed to be red. A very... so this is medicinal, and this is um, well, what I'm going to show you. So here's ginger. I'm sure you all, everybody knows what ginger looks like, but I'm just going to get it out. Again, we can add these to the smoothie. <laughs> I don't think the ginger would be very good. Smell. Let Fresh me ginger. It's That's like a the root. whole point. Um, and then we have this root, um, a beet, but this isn't just any beet. This is like a golden beet. I've never had that before, so I thought that it's would It's a beet be. with its hair <laughs> chopped off and okay. its beard. But they can't see because the matcha's in the way. We're done with the matcha, so you can, like, clean that off, off the screen. Okay. And now I'm going to show them Why daikon. Are you laughing? You want to show them a, a thing of daikon, you can show them a picture of that. I thought it was jicama. It does look like jicama. Does anybody like jicama? They need real quick cool oh, Stylus can't help. There, the steel, the immaculate reception. Do you have a picture of that immaculate reception Let at me Monarch smell Moments? It. I've never heard of it. Okay, so this is never heard of that. Daikon. What is it? This is. I'm gonna show them an. Up what is it? This is a daikon. It's a root vegetable, similar. Looks to, like a white tree trunk. So this is very healthy. It's medicinal as well, and um. What was I going to tell? So I don't like a lot of soda, honestly. I'm a simple gal. I like a nice ice cold Coca Cola. That's bad for your teeth. I'm a simple. I like a nice yeah. ice cold. Oh, I love Coca Cola. I like Coke better than Pepsi, but I I prefer no, it's bad. Sprite, and that's it. And I don't really. I mean, I like other soda, but I don't get to drink see, it. Oh, see, Jonathan loves Daikon. So the thing is, is you kind of look at it and like, what do you do with that, or how do you eat it? Looks and like you a tree can trunk. eat it. So it's kind of like, it's a radish, it's like a type of radish, because it comes with a root, like, it kind of comes like this, sort of, like a root. Um, but you can eat, it. any way you can eat a carrot, you can eat this. So you can slice it up and have it in salad, like raw, like a raw carrot. Does that mean a carrot's a radish? No, carrot's a root vegetable. So yeah. you, can, oh. you can eat it like a carrot, you can like slice it up, you can steam it, you can um, stir fry it, um, you know, and you can make it all different shapes, you can make it in rings, you can make it... You can even make I like it the daikon. 
are the Korean barbecue. Oh, Korean barbecue. All right, the, and you can make it um, into tempura, tempura. Tempura. I always say it wrong. Tempura. 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 Um, so you could, I guess, you know, um, slice it and then dip Did it in the bap. Tempura. Tempura. Anyway, you know the fried, um, like that really light batter, crispy batter that you get? Um, and then you dip it in and you can fry it like that. And then Garrett so said you his wanna... mom used to shred it. Almost like cabbage, and then put some um, soy sauce on it, and have it cold, like a like a Ooh, cold, cold salad. salad. Or uh, if you want your ch child to start eating healthier, you can cut it to make it look like French fries and trick them. Yeah, be like you can do all sorts of things. So it actually doesn't taste too bad. It's like very mild flavor. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit. You'll take water over anything. I like the daikon. Uh, if you can throw it at the wall and it makes a hole in the wall, don't eat it. <laughs> you can. It's really. <laughs> It's a root vegetable. Let's see, wait, 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 listen. It's pretty hard. It's not squishy by yeah, any means. It's like a big giant carrot is what it is. It's kind of like, I mean, it it's feels soft. like, it's not that soft. It's like a carrot. Wait, wait, let me knock. Anyway, so this great granny Gertrude. Coke, official Coke. soft drink of the Yankees. Coke. I think we know which <laughs> soda Papa Monarch does not prefer. Um, Coke is your favorite. Yep. Exactly. Coke's my favorite, too. And we have the Coke bottle. You know what? Speaking of Coke, you guys are all talking about this. We, we have like Coke dying, from a year. We're dying to bust this open and, like, no Papa Monarch will let us bust. So I think we should have just drank it and then kept the bottle. And put, like, some... Who knows where this came from? So we got this the first time we went to um, Galaxy's Edge, which was last summer. Well, just opened last June year. June so 27th. Like a... Oh, yeah. So this is a year old. Do you think it's still good? We should we should add that to our slushies. No, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get like food poisoning. I do that with oh she does that with her daughter feed her veggie fries and tots and cauliflower paste. I have a I have a book. Tell my her it's French fries and then when she tries the real thing she's gonna be like what is. I this? have a book my mom got about how to how to hide your veggies for your toddler. Or Just something feed like it that. to them. You don't wanna you don't want to trick them because then they're gonna have trust issues when they grow up. They don't know. You know they don't even know. Yeah, but then they they're gonna really try know. the real thing and they're gonna be like. And we're gonna try these. Um, so I like red dark red beets soaked in vinegar, like warm but soaked in vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> that's like how I like to eat my beets. This one is I don't eat beets. supposedly like a milder flavor beet, and um, night, I heard Mike that Polito. it's good to like. Thank you for joining. Good night, Mike. Thanks, thanks for joining. So, um, I heard that this kind of beet is like a golden beet, and it's really good to roast it. It's like really sweet if you put um something There's on like it. There's like a well, sticky goo it. coming out of it. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> exploding. <laughs> um. There's sticky goo coming out of it. It's like, I don't know what that is. It's like, ew. Nothing. It's just probably like maple syrup dripping down from the refrigerator. Oh, yeah, probably. So I think we're going to try and roast this. I didn't realize I only bought like one beet. I guess you probably need a little bit more <laughs> to like roast them. But I just thought it was going to be like a tester. So uh, I'm going to roast this baby um, sometime this week and see if I like it. Because I heard it's really good. It looks like now, it's turning purple. Now, back to... You pervert veggies as a kid. Beets, beets, beets. Shelly likes beets. Shelly, have you had the golden beets? Because I heard they're a little more mild and a little sweeter than the other ones, so I'm kind of excited to try that. Um, so back to... Okay, this is a year old. You is that a shoot farms beet? I have no idea. It's a it's a beet. But back to our daikon, because you're going to just be blown away with all of the exciting medicinal properties that it has. And... Um, our little thing that we made with it. So Some first, coming out of it. Yeah, there's roots. It's dark, you know. So here's here's what it does. It helps digestion. It breaks down fat because it has um, a digestive enzyme like um, amylase. So that helps with those tummy issues. And this you're gonna. This is hard to believe, but it helps with your immunity. This is very good for your immune system because it's super high in vitamin C, even higher than an orange or orange juice. Mm. So, um, so where does it originate? Like, where does it come from? Where uh, can you find I, I, I want to say Japan, but I'm not 100 percent sure if it's from Japan. I know the Japanese oh, no. eat it. I don't know if that's actually where it originates at. Uh, it didn't say that when I was checking, but you can buy it in the market. I mean, they have it at Sprouts and they have it at like Lenard. They have it at the Probably grocery have it store. At Whole Foods, so. They have it at the grocery store. I don't know if they'll have it at Lucky's. Maybe you Probably guys. Probably the healthier. Maybe you guys know, but like maybe the more not exotic. 
um, stores, but more of the produce. Um, the, ones the markets that have a lot of produce. That like have sprouts. their brands marketing for stuff. Or okay. the farmer's market maybe has it. But so super high in vitamin C, which you want because that's, again, kind of like an antiviral. And in, uh-oh, camera check. Michelle hasn't seen The Office. No, oh. why? Are you guys joking? I've seen clips, but I haven't seen episodes. Why? I mean, <laughs> an Office is the TV show that stars Michael Scott and Dwight and Jim. We've seen clips, yeah. So, um, anyway, back to this. Oh, so here's what I have in here. So the raw juices, the raw juices from the daikon um, are actually dissolved mucus <laughs> what? and phlegm. And so it helps clean. You made me eat that. <laughs> yes, it gives you a healthy respiratory system. So this right here is homemade cough syrup made with daikon. So that's what I was going to show you today. and ginger. So, But also, let me finish what it does. So it detoxifies you. It's a diuretic, so it helps keep your kidneys clean. And it's very high in calcium. So when you're getting older like me, it helps with your bone health. So we're going to be buying a lot more of this and eating uh, this in our start a keto diet. in our diet um and then this bear, here what you can see is the um, bear beats beats beats, beats bear beats beats, beats. oh it oh my gosh smells why is it, why is it smell it smells bad <laughs> can you smell it, it smells it smells like <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to drink. <laughs> it smells like a poopy diaper. <laughs> Ew. I wouldn't drink that. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Ah, okay, we're gonna add that into our smoothie. <laughs> maybe it's only good for one day. Maybe you have to eat it right away. Yeah, oh my you... lord, let's put the lid back. <laughs> so, here's what it is. <laughs> we need some Febreze. <laughs> Get the candle. Oh, man. The candle. <laughs> Where's, Granny? Where's Granny's candle? <laughs> the fumes are coming your way. Be prepared. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, guys. That caught me. <laughs> that caught me by surprise. Get rid of it. Please. Holy moly. I don't even want to put it down the drain. I'm going to have to take that outside. <laughs> anyway, so now we know if you and make the this. Plants? If you make this, you have to... Eat it right away. Wait, like it doesn't so keep. I had it. How long did? How long ago did I make I it? Know, Only I a couple like, days. It's not. I made it on like Tuesday. <laughs> Wait. Stop. Stop. Hold stop. On. Stop. Stop. Wait. When? What are you doing? Does die? It. It's um, not gonna. It's not gonna tell you because it's. It's used daikon. It's not like raw. Like raw vegetables. Like root vegetables last in the fridge forever. Like they last for a long time. So it's not gonna tell you that. But it could be something else I put in here. I'm trying to remember what I put in here. So. I sliced it up, you can see in slices. So that's the slices here are the daikon. So what you do, uh oh, starting with those again. So what you do is you slice up, you know, enough to fill this up. And then I took a lemon and I, you know, I sliced it into little wedges. Like again, this is from courtesy from Frosty and Mayu. Her, she came on the, the stream, I think on Wednesday night. She's got a YouTube we channel. We gotta ask her when it expires. About Japanese cooking. So you can check her out, I'll type it in there. I'll type. I'll type in Did her she channel. Say Japanese cooking. Yeah, she does Japanese. She does okay. a Japanese cooking YouTube channel. So, um, anyway, it was uh, that, and then some slivers of. Oh, I know slivers of um, ginger. So you take little chunks of ginger, slivers of ginger. You put it in there. You put the slices of this daikon. You put um, the lemon. I think I don't know if I used a whole lemon or maybe like a half a lemon, and then. I think it was like four tablespoons of honey. So oh, yeah, that's... what you do is you let it, you let it sit. I think for like ten minutes in your fridge, and, and actually the juices come out of the daikon root. Just don't take it camping and leave and it, it setting out for a few days, and then yeah, decide yeah, yeah, to yeah, open yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, it it creates a juice. Like I didn't put any liquid in there. It just kind of created this juice from the you daikon. Didn't squeeze anything? I didn't squeeze anything. Just all that stuff sitting there, like fermented into this juice. But it happened really fast, like within ten minutes. And so that juice, you take a, a tablespoon of the juice, and that's actually a really good, strong cough syrup. So um, so what I would suggest if you have these ingredients at home and you need a cough syrup, like, make it that day. Like, yeah. yeah make it that day, and then it would last. I think it was a good for a couple of days in the refrigerator. 
Uh, <laughs> Does it smell like Granny's chocolate in her bag? <laughs> Does it smell like what? Granny's. Time to buy a new dish anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like times like that you just want to put the whole thing in the garbage and like you don't even want to like open it up and you just bring it in. But you just don't. It didn't smell bad. So the, the thing was, diet. it didn't smell bad when I made it. It was like a nice honey, ginger, lemony, almost like a lemonade with like honey and ginger. And then the daikon, you really can't taste. Smells like so, a poopy diaper. Um, but I think that's the reason it's a good cough syrup. Obviously, you know, the honey coats the throat. They always say have that when you have a cough. And then I'm not sure what the lemon does. But, um, and then the ginger. Oh, I'll tell you what the ginger does because th that's my next stick, component. I think stick to bourbon and honey. Um, bourbon and honey. There you go. And so, but the daikon has that... Um, Phlegm, it cleans out your respiratory system. So that's what it's, um, why it's can good you, to eat that. Can you the juice. Refrain to another term other than phlegm, it sounds really Phlegm and mucus. So that's going to that's gonna clean you right out. It's going to get it all up. I will stick with the ABC lemon. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't smell bad. I think it just was in the fridge. I think it was just in the fridge too long. It didn't smell bad at all. It was actually really good. And you can add it. You can add it to like seltzer water like she did on her channel. She added some ice and like bubbly water. And then it's sweet from the honey. Makes it sweet. That no, uh, to like tonic water or like bubbly water. Just like plain water and it gives it a little like sparkling lemonade. Water. Like a sparkling water. And then you put put a couple tablespoons of that in there. And um, it it's like got a lemon, like a sweet lemonade flavor to it. So Sounds anyway, legit. it's a good summer drink, but don't leave it too long. But the other thing is, we talked about that it's high in um, calcium, this is, and then the ginger, the other part of the uh, concoction, ginger, ginger root, the fresh ginger, has, is a natural anti-inflammatory. So, I mean, you've probably heard this. Ginger is very popular. It's not like a weird, um, it's not like a weird thing you can't find in you the grocery store. put it on sushi, store. you know, yeah. make some, gin some um, tea. And ginger ale. I like ginger ale. What's it called? Ginseng? Ginseng? That's not, ginseng is different. Um, but the the really important thing that about ginger that I learned by doing my research is that it's a natural anti-inflammatory, which is very important because um, it calms down an over, an over react, uh, like overactive immune system. So sometimes when your body's like fighting things off, and I know with the craziness that's going on, that's like one of the things is it's, it makes your... Um, immune system like totally overreact um to the virus and that's why they're having like a really hard time like controlling and people get sicker and sicker so you need a natural um natural anti-inflammatory not like a an artificial one Dad, like a medicine you nightmares <laughs> you need a natural one to help fight your body to fight the uh, overreaction so ginger is like really really good I dare you to that. blend that concoction into a smoothie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right? no, well, we were going to do that. We were going to give that as an option. I but think I think we should we're just... going to have to remove that as an option. No, no, no. We should Otherwise, just... we're going to be taking that whole bag of Great Granny Gertrude's uh, medication. No, no. We're going to add that. And we're going to also add this in. It's about time. No, we no, should We, we should won't save. add that, but we can add this no, if add you choose. No, add the thing in. You made it. You we can't. Gotta... I think it's spoiled. It doesn't smell bad because it smells like that. It smells bad because it's gone foul. If you would like to eat that, you'll get food poisoning, and then yeah, we'll be okay, in the hospital. Okay, I don't wanna... So, no, we're not going to eat that. Unless you guys we're get us 1,000 people... subscribers, and then maybe. <laughs> we will save it until Hannah then. Hannah volunteers to eat the foul concoction. I got five bucks for eating a banana covered in ketchup. Uh, that's nothing. So anyway, um, the ginger overreactive immune system, really good anti-inflammatory natural. It relieves, this is again, the ginger. We're not on the daikon anymore. We're talking about ginger. I'll put it up there. Um, it's, um, uh, it relieves muscle pain. So I have a lot of aches and pains. And like so ginger ale, because ginger ale helps with, um, help settle your stomach. Yeah. And I think a lot of people know it helps settle stomach. People put it in their tea. It regulates I triple dog dare them. <laughs> Fermentation does not smell fun. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of, um, <laughs> Pam's like, I dare you to blend that concoction into a smoothie. Ginger ale is good for the I belly. I think we should, I think we should have them out. And I, I just wish you could smell it through the camera. Then you'd be like, oh man. I mean, no, don't open it. Cause it's like, it's like stunk the whole kitchen up. It still smells. It smells. It's, it's like, stuck, it's like stuck in my nose now. <laughs> uh, so the ginger Helps prevent heart disease and it fights infection and it also improves your brain function. So just think like if you combine your ginger and your green tea, 
With and a daikon. a daikon. Here, just think how smart we're going to be. Um, so anyway, I think that's it for our medicinal, our medicinal facts. We will talk more about this tomorrow. Uh, about tea. I have to make sure I covered everything. Did you have, um, let me get this out of the way. I guess we have a, we have, um, let me see. You know what we'll do? We'll make our slurpee, our slushy. Why do you keep saying slurpee? It's a smoothie. Should we give them some options? Bring out the Oreos. We've got some fruit. We got some strawberries. Oh, we should use the sauerkraut. We got sauerkraut. We got some kimchi. Oh, you know. the chia seeds. Wait, you gotta, you gotta kind of move this. That will last longer if you don't keep it in the plastic bag. Okay, I'll take it out. You are brewing a lemon daikon wine. Oh, really? Oh. It's probably something we got. Some yeah, that's Oreos. the sad thing. This is probably like Sour something that people eat, but I think I'm just gonna pass on that. We got some popcorn. Uh, no, I don't think we can put okay. that in the blender. Probably not. What else? What else do can we, we put in the blender? We got some pepper. Oh. We're, we're just gonna add like a little. Bit. No, we don't have to add that in there. They can pick what we're gonna have. I don't know about the beet. What do you think I'm gonna it? save this for my roasting, so the beet's like off the choices. What else do we have? Uh, oh, we have some mint leaves. No, don't waste the mint leaves. We don't we have to use them all. Cream. We have some whipped cream. What's oh, this? Kefir. Chicken no, broth. No, not my milk. No. Gabriel's no. milk, not my milk. I have more of some it. Chicken broth. Oh. You need some liquids, you know, to get. Ooh, well, that's you know not going to taste have, good. We, we have some chicken mustard. broth. No mustard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, that's um, even better. All right, I've got natural bliss. That might make it taste good. What else? What else can we put in our fridge? Apples. We have apples. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Great on buffalo. It doesn't. You guys are. Can, feel free to help us make a good smoothie. We have um, apples, Ow, bananas, oh this daikon. This might be interesting in there. And then we have our our. Um, we got. Oh, we got some. We have our garlic. Oh no, garlic. We have this melon. Some We've garlic. got some mint leaves. Ooh, it smells very. Oh, and then we got. Get... <laughs> oh yeah, we have a half-eaten sandwich, <laughs> like a turkey and cheese sandwich. What Did you get the this? chia seeds? Like get shot. the chia seeds. Where's the chia? Right here. We got the chia seeds. We've got chia seeds, strawberries, um, apples. So we'll let you guys. What should we do? Pick. And some mayonnaise. No, not mayonnaise. Yeah, no, yeah. No, oh, no, it's no. gonna be a disgusting smoothie, okay? That's no, fine. I don't want a disgusting smoothie. I would like a smoothie. It is going to be a disgusting We're not doing any raw eggs. Well, yeah, and, you get um, salmonella. We're not We're not doing something that's going to kill us. Oh, Pam says, kraut and Oreos, go for it. But I will. Oh, she took it back. <laughs> so how are you going to decide this? I think like, uh, we should just reach apples. out. Well, give them the good stuff, like the apple here. Give them an apple. Get some, like, oh, I know. We've got frozen. Here, give them the good stuff. Well, we got more than that. Give them the apples. And I've got, um, we've got, um, Giorno's pizza. Blueberries. And we've got bananas, too. Wait, where'd my bananas go? And remember, we're going to drink the entire thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, that's good. I don't know. Most of it. Most of it. We do want to drink the whole thing, so it would be nice if it tasted good. We've got blueberries. We have bananas. Some strawberries. Um, we have mustard. How many sauce. items do we have? We're not. We have a lot. Sauerkraut. One, so two, three, four, five, Oreos. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, it has 15, to 16. be. It does have to have a little bit of a liquid, so we could put like the kefir. This is um cultured. Uh, this is um. So we should choose like eight items, and we're gonna. Okay, should they choose, this or should we, like we reach out in front of us and you? Somebody else mixes it up, and we're blindfolded, so we can't see mm -hmm. anything. And then whatever, and we don't know where <laughs> things are, and whatever we touch, like this, I'm going to have to put says this. Everything. Kraut, mustard, and the sandwich. The kraut, the mustard, and the sandwich. And then somebody said Oreos. Um, Pam said kraut and Oreos. I say, I say. Kraut and Oreos. And the sandwich. Get a out. In a sandwich, how Oreos, or should we just reach sandwich. out and whatever we pick? Like, you get to pick um, eight items, and we don't know, and then you pick. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let me see. A dairy to blend that concoction into a smokehead. Ginger ale is good for those. Potty lemons. All You're right. going way too high. But All right. And we have, what do we have? Why do we have mustard could be the liquid? Oh, thanks, Jeff. That's not enough liquid. <laughs> Left three brownies tickets on my windshield. I came back and there were nine. Crowd is very liquidy. Uh, Once left three brownie tickets. Browns tickets on my windshield. Cam's like, uck, uck, uck. I hate sauerkraut so much. All right, let me get the blender. You can see us adding the ingredients. Wait, we'll give them. Mom, can Are we choosing or are they? I'm confused. I don't know. And I think we need. Can we make one orange? They're making suggestions. They're suggestions. They're making suggestions. I say we go with the sauerkraut and the Oreos and the sandwich. So mom can pick three for me that I have to choose. And then the, the five, sorry, the five other ones I have to pick by myself. So so I guess I'll go. So you can pick three items from here that you want me to eat. And then I have to, and then you're going to mix it around. And then I'll blindfold myself so I can't see. And then I just have to reach out and pick the rest of the five. So that way we're incorporating like both. Are you, Okay. So pick three that you want me to have. And then you're picking three Remember, that you want? Yeah, and, but I'll go first. Go first? So pick. <laughs> we're only making one smoothie. No, we're making two. No, we're making one smoothie and we both got to drink two, it. Two, 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 one two, smoothie. Two, 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 No, I thought we were taking turns and then we cleaned it out and then we do make another turn. So we both get our own different smoothies. Oh my gosh. That's what we're at Do you always. guys think we should make one smoothie or two different smoothies? Two different smoothies. Apple, banana, blueberry, strawberry. Thank you, Shelly. That's mine. <laughs> Put everything in a line and have Garrett have a wheel. Oh, that's a good idea, Mike. He says use your <gasps> get wheel. The wheel. Get the wheel. We, wait. And but, spin. We, we, shall, oh, we, we, shall, we need to organize this. We got to. Here. Well, we should just have him put the items on a wheel. Can you do that, Garrett? You're awful quiet over there. He knows what he's doing. What are you doing over there? No. Unless you want to drink us? this. He's listening. Huh? Okay. Oh. So we got some mint. Mint leaves. Um, melon. Um. Oh, well, we already added. One. We have sauerkraut. Daikon or whatever. Daikon. Yeah. Some. We have uh. Oh, I just. Natural did. bliss. I did that. Do you use this? Not really. Is it? Uh, we have a, a used sandwich. Mom, this is. I think this is spoiled. It doesn't smell really good. <laughs> no, nope, it's fine. I had it in my coffee today. <laughs> wait, wait. What's the other thing? Uh, a used sandwich. Okay. Oreos. Um, what else do we have? Kefir? No, you're not going to waste the Oreos. It's the Oreos. Oh, that's not a choice. Oh, no, they took away our we got. Okay, we'll get some whipped whip cream. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Whip cream. Nothing good. We got the strawberries. Did you get the apple, Hannah? Uh, that's sugary. That's sugary. The blueberries. It's not something we have to cut up. Um, an apple. Strawberry. Blueberry. Blue, uh, blueberries. Whipped cream. Wait, let that. He's putting it on the wheel. Oh, banana, frozen banana. Have my eyes closed and ears plugged. I can yeah, watch. What else is on there now? Um, Kefir. Did you get that? K e f i r. I didn't get one of your other things. But... A frozen Whipped banana. Cream. Oh yeah. Uh -oh, I want some. Um, hot frozen banana. Frozen banana. Mustard. Mustard. You need some kind of protein in there? Any ribs? No ribs. Chia seeds. No, you don't need all that. Uh, hot Mustard. sauce. Ooh. Ooh. And what else? Uh, chicken, chicken broth. broth. Okay, that's it. I think that's enough. Stuff in there. We need to have a liquid though, so we'll have to add some of this. Maybe. So. What? Water. No, no. Keep. Uh, if we need liquids, we'll add it in. We'll add the. We'll add the liquid. Kefir. Okay. All right. If no ribs, like maybe drink. some spam. We like... have spam. They said spam. All right, spam. Spam. Where's the spam? Right here. All right. There we go. Done. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. Spam. Guys, I like my spam. I'll just eat it raw. Alright. I've never done spam in the blender before. That'll be interesting. Can you just open one? I kind of want. <laughs> Alright, so. Any peanuts? So um, are we doing it two times? One for Hannah, one for me? Yep. So we're going to spin it. How many items on the wheel do you have? <laughs> Pam's like ding, 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 and it's over. I'll be oh, picking on, seven Two items. For us. Maybe it'll be good. I'm putting in my smoothie or Yay. concoction. You're doing seven items? Yeah, sorry. That's a light. I, maybe six. Seven. Six. There's like many items we need. How many does he have on the wheel? Oh, there's a lot. That's on there? Oh, One, two, is that three, our first, four, five, is that six, our first seven, ingredient? Eight, nine. Nine. Testing it out. And, and you got the spam on there? Open the spam. No, we're not going to open it. It might not land on it. It might not land on it. Please let me get spam. If it does, can peanut I just butter. have like a bite of it? Any peanuts? No, we don't have any peanuts. You no, nope, 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 nope. Ooh, natural bliss. Okay, are we ready? So Hannah's going to go first. I volunteer to go first. All right, when do you start? Wait, is there a funny comment? We need to be part of this too. As long as the Browns are Baker, Tony, they're Who's talking Browns? sports. We have no idea what they're okay. talking about. Okay. So, here we go. So, first is going to go first with her concoction. Okay, we'll first one up. just put ice cubes in there. He may go. Spin it. Spin it. <laughs> Pam, don't go. No. <laughs> We're grossing people. her out. Okay. He may spin it. We're going to see. It might be something good. Okay, ready? What did I get? Oh. Melon. Oh, I got melon. Okay, don't use it all. Just put some in there. Here, we'll get like a spoon. A spoon. Um, I got some melon. Scoop, okay, that's not too bad. We gotta put a little more. Okay, that's good. Spam. Are you good? Just, Ooh, I yeah, got just spam. spam! Yay! Spam! Alright, let me Can open it. Can I have it. a bite of it before I open it? Oh, I've eaten it raw before. You can't eat it raw? Of course you can. It's like totally processed. Can Ask them to eat it raw. <laughs> Do you eat Spam raw? Fully cooked, ready to eat, cold. Can I just have a bite of it? Huh? A bite of the Spam. I'd love me some Spam. All right, hold on. It's delicious. Uh, hold on. How do we, how do we put it? Are you okay? I know it's Oh. Get the spoon. You just oh, reuse just spoon it. it from... spoon, spoon some in there. Oh, is it? Um, I think it's okay. Oh, you just do yeah, this. Oh. Oh, it looks like cat food. All right, that's good. Oh, this is for me to eat. Anna, give me a paper towel. Just put uh, it in there. Okay, here, wait. Here, go help. Time out, we got a bloody nose. <laughs> You've got to save the bloody nose. There you go. There you go. Okay, no, 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 just wait. Wait, okay, spin it again. We got spam, that was two. Hmm. Let's put spam. it in there so they can see. We got some spam. It's can we survive the smoothie? All right. You may spin again. What if I get sick to my stomach? We're waiting. It smells. I feel like oh, sometimes spin? something can cancel out something else because it's so That strong. would be nice. Fried Fries. spam. Um, <laughs> can I just have uh, mustard. Mustard. Oh, I don't like mustard. Hannah likes mustard. I don't like mustard. Hang on. Put it in a cake. Right. You don't. should put the mustard in. It's like it's kind of like a hamburger. There All you go. right. Okay. This is interesting. And you have to at least put melons and spam and mustard. Okay. We got how many? You wanted seven. It smells like a hot dog. All right. Spin again. Let's see what we're gonna come up with. Good idea, Mike. Thank you for that. Oh my lord. Up uh, next, I. I think he's. Um, he's um, chicken broth. Oh, that's oh. good because you're going to need some liquid to go with that. At least that, like. Probably... How much should I do? Like. I would do like four ounces, just a little bit, like to here. Because it needs a little liquid. Maybe a little bit more. I think it's going to need a little bit more. Right there. Yeah, we'll see if it blends. We can add more. You can always add more of an ingredient. 
<laughs> but you have okay. to at least. What's that? Four. Three more. Yes. You have a bad day. Because your nose. Yeah. It looks fine to me. It's great. We think we can make Gabriel drink it too. What That's what I want to do. Oh, you want to taste it? Spin again? Yes, yeah. spin again. Yeah, spin, spin, just keep spinning because spin, we need three spin, spin, more. Spin, 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 spin. Chicken broth. Oh, again? Can we just, just, just go again? It has to be different. Pizza. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's Shake. interesting. Sh okay. All right. Shake before you. Oh, my Lord. Whew. Not picking it off. Okay. Me? That's it. That's it. Don't waste it. I don't need to go to the hospital, Dad. Okay. Next. Oh, I missed whipped cream. Oh, we got that one already. Two more. Keep, Mom, that's about... a lag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is this? That's Daddy's pills. No. Get away from that. <laughs> <laughs> Do we... Uh... <laughs> Next up, we got nobody. Every looks like spam for lunch. <laughs> yep, looks like we're having that for breakfast. Maybe like fried spam. Oh, for dinner even maybe. Okay, what's That's up next? Okay. We're waiting for Papa Monarch. You gotta say spin. Spin, spin. spin. This spin. reminds spin. me of when I was little. Spin. Dad had surgery in his spin. mouth and couldn't even swallow. So mom put everything in the blender. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Next up, what did I get? Natural bliss. Natural oh. bliss. Oh, okay. Don't put too much. It's kind of creamy. Don't want to clog up my arteries. There you go. I don't. It's sweet. It's like whipped cream. So. Yeah. I've had it straight up before. Uh, and they get it. Get to help you have some doggy pads laid down. This is making my stomach ache. <laughs> Next up is going to be sauerkraut. Watch. It doesn't smell too bad. I think this is one last... Wait, how many did I got? We got, we got one, two, three, four, five. Whipped cream. Oh, lucky you. Okay, this is my last one. That was your last one, and then I'll blend it up for you. John, I want to And it's all yours. We'll put it in a clear cup so everybody can watch. Now, Hannah said she wants to drink the whole thing. I did not volunteer to drink I said mine. we have to because. Uh, I want to drink some of this. We'll put it in your favorite cup. Oh, I put that with spam on it. Be prepared. You might want to turn the mic. You might want to mute us while I do this. Be prepared. We got our glorious. Do we need like a smoothie star or something? Or should hey, I just? Hold on. You gonna do something? I'm gonna get the blender. Hey, let me let me put something on then. We shall wait. I don't know if they want to watch me blend it. No. All right. Alright. Tell me when. What does it taste like, Chad? Like salty meat. How long are you gonna blend it for? I don't know. Where's my lid? What lid? Oh dear, you better find <laughs> I just had it. Alright. We're going on the storybook canal ride. Behind me. Right behind me. Alright, right behind you. Okay. Alright, excuse me. Alright. You want to switch spots with me? Switch spots with me. Pinocchio, 
We are actually being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. Well, most stories begin with a once upon a time. This story also begins with a big bad wolf whose cave is just ahead on our left. He's always after those three little pigs, but luckily they live across the way. And their house is made of stone, sticks, and guaranteed wolf-proof bricks. Thing. All right, so we ready. got some. It doesn't smell too bad. Tell smell us, it. I smell, smell it. it. I can. I can smell it. Tell so us, I got ready? some natural bliss, some mustard, some melon, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> some chicken broth, uh, some kefir, whipped cream, and what did I? Oh, and some span. So we're gonna drink it. Gabe's gonna try it too. Gabe's gonna drink out of the blender. Okay, go for it. And whipped cream. What do you think? It's very... It tastes... Oh, man. I think I'm going to pass on my turn. <laughs> now I'm going to taste yours now. It's very salty. Oh, man. I think I'm going to taste yours now next time. Oh my god. I'll be sitting right here. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Can I can I I can't this even out? stand the smell of it. I can't even stomach the smell of it. What are you doing? Go off. It doesn't smell too bad, it just tastes it smells like what you think would come back up. Here. I'm gonna it add just... some more into it. It didn't taste very good. Kind of. Uh, yeah, it did not. Taste make it good at all. taste a little bit more better. Drink it, honey. So you're gonna drink the whole thing. We filled them all. It said like, we what? were. So that means. I'll take a sip, sip of it. If no. you want me to drink it all, you're gonna. Oh, I don't want to drink it all. I think I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> like actually. <laughs> that was your idea. I know because. Oh, here, I'll try it. Is it gross? I added some more. Ooh. Pretend you're at a buffet. Dad, Papa Monarch wants to try it. He's over there, like, legging us down. Can it we doesn't survive? taste very good. It doesn't taste very good. It tastes like poison. Get out of there. I don't need you. Okay, I can't eat any more about that. <laughs> Oh man, that was a bad idea. Jug it. It's too if salty. We don't see them, if we don't see them mix it. Here, oh, see, it. she's like, we didn't see them mix it. I told you they should have watched us blend it. We're ready. Chicken oh. broth, the natural. You have bliss. to take a sip. I'll take a sip of yours. You have to see. Oh my god, it's like getting they chunky. It. It's getting chunky. Eat it. Drink they it. blended it. It was for real. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I only had. I had. <laughs> Mom, you gotta swallow it. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, I swallowed it three times, okay? I'm oh, done. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I can't do it down I this. can't even smell it. You can put the whole spam No, in no, no, no. Can I dump it all out? No. I can't drink it unless you want me up in the ER. No, just don't pour it <laughs> Okay. Mom, so I had know. to drink it. I drank just put it over there. You have to at least drink three sips. I drank, I put, put it, it in my mouth. It. No, you have to at least drink three I sips it, of your I, smoothie. I, I, I put it in my mouth. I can't even. I, you're talking to someone who can't even drink carrot juice. That's so bad with carrot juice. It's healthy. Attention, chat. My heart oh. is not responsible for you. That's good. You're making everybody go away. Like, oh, I'm like, sorry, guys. Else uh, I need something to rinse. Oh, I got I'm some sorry. Water. Now this melon's going to taste really good. It's going to be cleansing oh, for my okay. palate. For, for Pam to come back? Yeah, Pam, come back now. Why are you putting it in the blender though? Because you're gonna. You're, it's your turn. No, I'm not doing it. Yeah, for you. Right. No, no, I'm not doing you it. You have to at least take a sip. You, you can spit it out. Just we don't won't add as much. But you have to drink it. It's for our channel. It's for views. We have right, to do um, it. I have to do it. Yeah. So it's the mom's turn now. Lower Maybe I can pick my ingredients. No, you can't. Oh. No, you're, you're done. What? No, we're done. This is your old. Oh. Um. Well, no we're done. We're done. That's it. <laughs> uh, we're done. It's, it's officially done. 
Okay. <laughs> we scared everybody away. It was so gross. It was grossing them all out. Yes. Even Danny. Yes. But Danny can't take it. Nobody can. <laughs> yeah, it got off because it's really early. Yeah. Anyway, I told Cam it was safe to come back. Oh, oh good. All right. Now we know we're going to have for breakfast. We're put a caboose to that one. <laughs> The caboose. Yes. The caboose went on. We gotta put it all back in the fridge. All right. So I'm gonna put this away. And Drink some of that lemon. Where's my? Dicom. What happened to my? Uh, what happened to my? Um, oh, we don't want to put that away. What happened to my beet? Um, Where'd the beet go? What happened to it? The beet disappeared. Oh, anyway, why are they doing that? We're going on. The Experiences from there. Well, Storybook land is full of such fantastic places, and Wanted Park on our right is no exception. This is where Peter Pan and the Darling Children first flew over on the way to Neverland, following the second star to the right and straight on till morning. And straight ahead, we have Agrabah, a city of mystery and enchantment, where the street round Aladdin first bumps into Princess Jasmine at the marketplace. And oh, where's Donald and Apple, but also so Donald's heart. They're now happily married and live together in the Salt Palace. These stories in Storybook Land are where love shines, just like those twinkling lights in the archways above us. The very same arches that Aladdin and Jasmine flew over, sideways and under, on their magic carpet ride to a whole new world. Of new worlds, the game of wonders is approaching. It's home to the genie and the lamp, and legend has it whoever rubs the lamp and frees the genie will be granted three wishes. Let's make a wish and see if it comes true. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Just ask Cinderella, whose castle's atop the hill on our left. Or Snow White, whose cozy cottage is off to our right. Cinderella wanted to go to the ball, while Snow White wanted to find shelter from the evil queen. Now both of those wishes were granted, but not without the help of a fairy godmother in one case, and seven doors in the other. Wishes are a powerful part of storybooks, but where magic has its limits, thankfully love does not. If you keep on believing, the dream that you wish will come true. Show. <laughs> oh, Pam, it's a good thing you left. <laughs> I ended up not doing I I had a taste of hammer. You're going to dump that in the gutter. <laughs> and it was and so rinse it away. foul smelling. Well, it I didn't smell too much. It smelled so bad, and then it like tasted even worse. I drank nice. three sips of that in my stomach, you know. Yeah, you think it will kill weeds? Oh, maybe. We should try that. Oh, yeah. It'll probably <laughs> kill weeds. It'll probably kill anything. Oh, anyway. Oh, man. What about our dog? Sorry if we grossed you out. That really, I don't know what that was. We were trying to just show you that we could survive, but I don't think I would survive on Survivor. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just think a million dollars. Okay. Don't touch it. <laughs> One of a thousand. Big Ben. Mickey and Minnie. Box lunch exclusive. Cool. Hi. Limited edition. High, high, high holographic sticker looking thing. Mm -hmm. Do they come apart or are they connected? Um, I don't know. We're going to show you on the other camera. And um, it, the mm. pins are $35. Um, it's $35 in case you're wondering. Someone made me eat this pepperoni mini spray cheese and pieces of mini strawberry donuts on it. It was a blindfold game where you had to guess what you were eating. It was not great. They uh pepperoni. Ooh, we should with do that. Fried cheese and pieces of mini strawberry donuts. We should that do a game. Much better Don't than what we walk just over them. ate. We should do a game or like. Okay, you there you go. Now you can talk about the fig pins. So, they are super <clears throat> cool. They are a three backer. We got Mickey oh, and Minnie, wow. and Mickey has some glitter, um, uh, for his shoes and his uh shorts, and then you Minnie, only made a thousand. Yep. 
A thousand of each. Mm-hmm. Limited one of a edition. thousand. 2020 limited edition. Box full lunch. color with glitter accents. Come Box on. lunch. This was $35. Um, what else? I'm I can't gonna, touch it. I was going to try. Go ahead. You can move it a little. It says collect awesome. And it's... Um, can you take them apart? Like, are you allowed to... It's a pin. It's like it's a pin. two separate pins, right? Can you taste a macaroni And side? speaking of pins... Check out this our dream tomorrow morning. I think they're gonna do other things besides pins. <laughs> they're still talking about things that Funko, make them sick. I think they said they were gonna show a Funko Pop, so that's oh. cool. And then some other Disney. Oh, news. is that this our dream? Yeah, this our dream On tomorrow at eleven a.m. Eastern. Yeah. Tomorrow is Saturday, right? <laughs> you guys yeah, got me it confused. is. We confused everybody. <laughs> yep. We and uh, check out Pam's. I think Pam's having a stream. Pam, so. yeah. And I believe she does it at uh, noontime. So. Which is nine. I always get confused because you say noon and then I think it's noon and then I get up at like 10 and then it's over. Eastern time. Because <laughs> we everything for us is so early. Huh? I woke up at nine. So we woke up early today, but um, yeah, they are very, they're big pins and it's pretty. Box lunch exclusive. Pretty heavy actually. Um, I don't know if you can see the side. So, what did Hannah say? There were three backers? Are you uh, sure yeah. Three? yeah, they are three backers. And, and then, they're glittery, which is... Yeah, they even, have the glitter. Yeah, they have some glitter. And I love the box lunch. And her skirt. Yeah, it's like holographic. It's, it's that very cool so, design. I like that. What's big holographic? Pins. I think I'm going to have to take a trip to the bathroom. Oh, dear. Oh, their shoes are sparkly. Yeah, and oh, her is it, skirt and her hat. And as his pants, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, shorts. yeah, everything. Except except um, their ears. Okay, so the red has got, a, like, it's like a shimmery, glittery, and then her skirt, the blue. These would be very heavy to wear. These are, I mean, yeah, you would like have to a, put it on, like, a bag. Or, I don't think you'd be able to, like. Yep, me and Pam will be going out at noon, and I'll be giving her a blind tour. <laughs> oh, they're going out. <laughs> Mike. What was that? You and Pam are going out at noon. You're giving her a blind tour. We have a blind tour of Magic Kingdom tomorrow oh, at noon. That's the catch. Like, wait, how does that work? I love <laughs> he's Mike. He's supposed to be a joke. Like he's, you know, blind. And I know that. A blind tour. That I should be that. fun. Two lovable people. How come people? I'm split in half? What's going on with the camera? My head's cut off. Hmm. You have it like. Is that because camera two you have like down low? I think you kind of. I see like the top of my head, and then my body with no (laughs) no face. (laughs) I see my chin and the top of my head. Yeah, you can also see your actual head. Yeah, it's sticking out from behind there. That's what I mean. It's kind of funny. (laughs) Oh my gosh, they are very big pins. Oh, Pam wants to know what they're used for. Collectors items. I would no. say they're probably just more like a collectible. Yeah, just a collectible. Um, or if you do really like them, you can wear them out. We don't yeah, I don't know. Much. They're kind of big. I don't know if you'd wear them. Maybe just uh, yeah, just more to no, pin them on your door. <laughs> and mom will explain okay. the wedding. No, I won't. Maybe Daddy can explain it. The fig pin. You just got like some of that oh. smoothing on it. What is the? Gilbert pig? says they're not that heavy though. Oh, they're not? Why? So maybe you can. He says it's more the case. Yeah. Oh, because they're, they're Thanks, are, that's right. They are in a plastic. Thank you. Because they are in a plastic case. Oh, oh Gilbert's back to Danster TV. Oh, you're back. Hopefully we didn't gross you out. I'm, I'm not kidding. Like my stomach. <laughs> so if you want to get revenge and on your Mike enemy. Mike says he's a, a professional blind tour guide for first time visitors. <laughs> yeah, we needed a tour guide for sure when we were streaming. Remember, Mike, when we were there for the first time? <laughs> And we were streaming. Yeah, he got you to the street. Yeah. It was, was funny great, though. You got him a great vantage point for the fireworks, Mike. Yeah, that was uh, an awesome definitely spot. Definitely thank you for that. He's a great blind tour guide. We would totally recommend him. <laughs> he got us to the to the prime viewing area for the uh, for the uh, what was fireworks that show. Man? No, in Magic Kingdom at um, oh, yeah, the fireworks show. Right into his... Kind of in front of the castle, but like toward Main Street. 
And um, it was a really good, it was a good view. And, uh, and he didn't even know where we it, were going. Where we were. And we just made it, too, because the, the timing was, like, really tight. Mike is we very kinda... knowledgeable, and he was supposed to show me around back in April, but wasn't able to go, so now he's going to take me around the park tomorrow virtually since I've never been. <gasps> oh, Fried Spam is cool. good. Gilbert. I want, I know, Spam is awesome, especially Spam Moosity, that. I don't awesome. want fried spam now. I guess we're gonna be having that for breakfast. Who eats spam for breakfast? Isn't it like yeah, some you sausage? Eat it for breakfast? Spam and eggs. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> what do you mean ew? Yeah, spam and eggs. If you get it, eat it raw. That's gross. We're gonna give you a spam the rest of your life. I love spam. But you know how we, our favorite way, Gilbert, is to then eat you have it high blood fried pressure. spam with white rice and then some teriyaki sauce and then wrapped in some. Um, Nodi. Seaweed. Seaweed. Nodi. Yeah. Sea vegetable. Yep. And wrap Spam it up. Spam musubi. Best it's spot. It's in the middle of the street or right by the sushi. corner. I think that's where you took us. I think that's where Mike took us, and it was really a good spot. He got you. He got, you. he got you in the middle, looking at the castle bad. with the fireworks. I think we're going to have leftover tacos tonight. So. Yay, leftover tacos. This time I might be able to add some beans or something to it. Oh, yay, refried beans. Refried beans, since I was kind of in a hurry last night, and I didn't have time to, like, finish all the yeah, toppings. So, anyway. Uh, we had fun. <laughs> if we can still eat after. I, we should create characters. Like, we should dress up, and then they should, like, come on. We should do that. Characters? Like, the stream. On to the stream. I don't know, but we have. Yeah, we could do that. But um, we've got some. New ideas for our streams coming up, so... Um, Casey's Corner, I think that's, yeah. Hopefully that's, we'll try and get them scheduled ahead of time. They must have got so you at Casey's, Casey's Corner, right? That must have been Casey's Corner. I think they got us at Casey's yeah. Corner. <laughs> what? Gabe? Go ahead. You need to be quiet. Hey. <laughs> um, Casey's Corner, yep. So... Let me see. What That's else? Cool. So we've got some kind of like, cool things. Like, like, Should we tell them the cool ideas we have or no? Should it be a surprise? It's a surprise. Okay, it'll be a surprise. But then we're going to add in a, like some little traveling kind of... I've traveled around a little bit, so we're going to do a little bit of add a little traveling. I've only been to uh, areas in California, Nevada, Ooh. Florida, and the Bahamas for 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we can't tell you too much about the Bahamas. We kind of got off the ship. Just to like say we we walked were around, a um, little, got like uh, got separated, I guess we would um, call it. We we and then we headed back to the and ship. we got back on the ship. Yeah, is Rhonda still there? Um, Rhonda, Rhonda, calling Rhonda. Dances with Goofy. Dances with Are Goofy. Are you there? Um, was there anything else about the new, about the Disneyland? Did we have questions? How are we pondering, thinking about some questions that we had of what what would be happening? I'm going to well, look so at far, my what we've <clears throat> The Disneyland Hotel is closed. Yeah, we told them that. I kind of mentioned that. And uh, the app. What's this new thing? They are have? opening Max Pass. I don't the know. Paradise Pier in the Grand California on the 23rd. Yippee. Yippee They're opening the park earlier. And then the reservation system, which it'll be interesting what they figure out. Oh, there we go. I'm anyway, my tickets pass holder. Anybody who needs a travel agent, Rhonda is a travel agent, by the way. So just hit up Dances with Goofy. <laughs> very diligent, will answer your questions. And if and she doesn't diligent. know it right away, she will find a way. <laughs> and that's a guarantee. <laughs> that's a guarantee by. Dainster TV. <laughs> no. You said it, not me. Diss our dream. There we go. Diss our that's dream. interesting. What? The only thing that's in the boarding group is it says uh, yeah, we'll Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, virtual queues. So there's like a new thing on the Disneyland one. It says virtual queues. This one. I showed them that. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, on the on the thing, and then it says join boarding weren't group. The, weren't you watching the beginning of your own stream? No, I wasn't. I was talking. It looks <laughs> like you have. You haven't joined an available virtual queue yet. It says join boarding group. Yeah, so yeah. I'm hitting join boarding group. Okay, and then they it can't says even see that. Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Every time you do now, that, they're just seeing a big oh, blurry screen. Now boarding. And it kind of hurts your eyes. I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. Right, now if you so, actually give the yeah. camera a few seconds to focus and hold it there. It says now boarding. There you go. Now you got to count to like we, 20 We got our or secret something. location. 
And if people come near us, we'd we be like, nope, stay away. Guests may join the virtual queue. Oh, that's only for Rise of the Resistance. So where did you see, is that the virtual queue you were thinking? Were they going to add the other rides? Or was there a different one? Huh. I'm going to look at Disney, Disney World. Disney World. Let's see. At least now they didn't. So Disney World had the park hours. Um, Disneyland didn't didn't have that. Know before you go. Learn about it. There was something. Oh yeah. What? Acer TV got another chase today. Ooh, Ooh a what? On uh, Count Chocola. Oh really? Yeah, uh, soda can. You oh. lucky dog. You lucky nice. dog. You guys are so lucky. So check out that video, right? Like he posted yeah, I think it. It was today. Today's video. I know. I always wake Gangster up and TV. I hear your wonderful voices. Oh, I did. Yep, I heard. I heard you guys. Always. Like, I know who you're watching. Oh yeah. Oh. And help raise money for Dane's clothing fund because. What? What? Because Gilbert said he was in the same clothes for the last several days. He's he's a like a. <laughs> A boy, a typical. A lot of them have their favorite shirt. Nah, just kidding. They made uh, they made a few videos that day. Oh yeah, that's funny. Oh. But I dig his hat. I did. I did. Uh, Dane made a little paper hat. Oh, cute. He made a paper hat. Dave's been Dave's Dave, a hoot. Dave's been doing. Um, Nobody cares. Origami. <laughs> he made an origami hat. Yeah, we're hat. talking about Dane. I know. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> I, just, I know. Don't well, direct he said a hat, so I was just saying Dave made an origami right. hat. <laughs> no, he didn't. He made a fortune teller, and it wasn't even by himself. We're talking about Dane. Back to Dane, okay? Back to Dane. Uh, it's back to Dane. Yep. So he comes up with it was cards, a car like was... glitterized and. Good burger. Was it good burger? He was advertising good bi burger. He didn't change for two days. No, he actually didn't change. That's funny. I, feel I hope he changed his underwear. I just like my yes. outfit, and I don't feel like changing. Or at least turned them around, or put them inside out. <laughs> Good yeah. burger. It was you good burger. You need to measure my waist size so I know what size I like. I need to get because we're what? at Costco today. For what? Oh, so Rhonda. Yeah, you're right, Rhonda. I, they haven't gotten the approval, I guess, from the government for the Disneyland opening. I mean, that's the day they're planning and would like to open, but it's not completely 100% approved. And I don't know if you caught it earlier on in the stream where we're saying that there's some kind of. Um, it's not a protest, but surprise, surprise, some kind of. Um, what petition. do you call that? Petition. To stop the online opening, petition. an online petition to stop the opening of Disney on that date. Yes, so Did let's hope that nobody signs it. I don't know. I don't know how long we, we have. So um, we want Disney to open. We want it to go back. We want it to open. So um, oh, and yay! We just want to give a little praise because um, Shelly's uncle Bud yay, is uncle doing Buck. well out of surgery. Buck. Was you it Buck? Buddy. It's Buddy. Oh, Buddy. Uncle Buddy. Sorry. Bud. Um, out of surgery I'm, today. For some reason I'm thinking John Candy's. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Buddy. Um, so, glad to hear that. And hopefully we'll just, you know, continue to pray that he heals up. I know it's a really big, uh, it's a big thing to recover from. They, like, have to crack you open. So, yeah. It's a big surgery. So, pray and awesome that uh, yes, it was awesome. Surfer Girl, Cherie. Yes. Cherie. Her she's cancer is you know. gone in her tumor. Well, but they still, still have to has, check, you know. She's still got to keep yeah. getting checked and go through yeah. some more. But uh, so we will keep her in it. prayers because yep. progress. she so still has right. to go through chemo. And that, yeah, chemo that's, that's, that's hard. hard. I'll tell you one thing. She's tougher than me. And, um, and if anybody has any other prayer requests um feel free to drop them in the chat or if you feel like you want it to be more confidential you can send it to our Great instagram name. um as a dm at my monarch moments or up underscore grape soda 65 um and we would be happy to um pray for those requests oh. so michelle says thanks so much you are welcome. And I didn't put our logo nice up today. I goodness. took it down. You didn't put our what up? Our logo from Pam. Oh, oh no. Pam's. Oh, Pam's logo. Check, her, check out Pam for all your logo needs. Mm. Yeah, so be sure and check out all these great channels. Um, we've got Dances with And Danny. Goofy. Danny tomorrow. Danny. Danny's going to oh, do. Well, what is Danny, Danny doing trivia. tomorrow? Vacation, right? Oh, is he's he doing, doing cruises? He, no, he's doing a. What is it called? A cruise. Oh, what is it called? 
It's a cruise stream, but you jump from stream to stream. So that's like the, what is it called? Cruise, cruise. along or cruise, cruise hopping? Maybe cruise it's cruise crawl. Cruise crawl. I think it's like a cruise crawl, cruise hop. So you go like from one stream to the next with all the travel channels. I think his is more toward the afternoon. But yeah, um, his is more towards, I want to say five. Yeah, but... his is more toward the afternoon. Danny, when, when's your um, cruise? Y'all had, had this. Book. Cruise trivia, I mean, not trivia, cruise program coming on. Cruise a thought. Cruise-a-thon. Cruise-a-thon. That's Cruise -a -thon. it. Cruise-a-thon. So, um, yeah, be sure and uh, check that out. And then, and then of course, Amy may be on oh, tomorrow. Oh, they're the last show. So end your Cruise-a-thon. Oh, Danny with says they're the last show. Oh, Cruise-a-thon. Vegas. All right. Oh, cool. Okay. So what are you going to be talking? Are you going to be talking about cruise? Are you talking about a cruise? Um, or is it just more travel stuff? And He's going to take you on a cruise. You're going to take us on a cruise? What, what's the deal? What's the... Is, there, is every channel have like a different topic? They're dropping topic? a big channel, so I'm kind of nervous. Oh, you oh, are. That's, that's better because hopefully they'll send all of their viewers over to your channel. You are a big streams. channel. You got to think big. Be think. big. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's exciting. Um, so... We'll pass this. What are you... Are, like, do you have a, do you have a plan or are you just... That's what I tell it? the girls. Uh, Think big. Think big. Think higher than your ankles. You think, do? Think I'm big and then think bigger. He says it, but in a different way. Don't be intimidated by anybody. Stare him in the eye. I don't think he will. Stare him down. <laughs> That's why I tell Pam all the time. Be yourself. Okay, I'm kind of... Are you getting yeah, sick? I tell Pam to... Eat some popcorn. Where'd it go? Eat some popcorn. You guys poisoned her. What's all that, that yucky food. No, it was my fault. I came up with it. it but was it was. Idea. We're going to be talking about the stupidest cruise questions ever asked on a cruise ship. <laughs> oh. Asking, would you rather? Do you really go? Do you, are you really oh, in the ocean something. when you cruise? Because <laughs> one of my ideas for one of our streams is going to be like. Can you cruise in a lake? Useless. But I can't even read my own writing. Useless, what's that say? Products. Like, as seen on TV, like, useless products, maybe for traveling or for um, Disney or just things like that. Useless. Yes. Useless products. I'm sure, you know how they make them and you buy it and you're like, what is this stupid thing? Like, that was a bad idea. I wasted all my money. Last show of the cruise a -thon. Oh, well, you got to go uh, out with a big bang, Danny, not to put the pressure on. <laughs> there's also probably Myers stressed. and the Mouse. They're after usually a little, like an hour after. After just our dream? Yeah, so then probably then, right after Pam. And then, no, before Pam. No, well, after Pam. After. Hey, you got the... Oh, Pam goes first, then just no, our dream. No, just our dream goes first. Eleven. Yes, oh, Garrett. Oh, Lake. they're at eight. I keep thinking eleven oh, hour time. Oh, yes, Garrett. Like Gary has cruises. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rhonda, are you on the cruise yeah, it's like too? A, it's a bathtub cruise. Maybe Rhonda is Rhonda do you on the cruise this is what I think. Uh, this is what I think. Uh, this is what I think of that, Rhonda. You've been come on. on Lake Tahoe. Put them up, Rhonda. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Jeff, Ben, Pam, Ben Myers. Okay, Jeff. Jeff, Pam, then Myers. Um, Myers. See, because I get it confused because that's right. Jeff and Ann oh, come on. Jeff give, and Ann, give us the lineup tomorrow. They come on. You guys come on well, like, before I get up. We're going to be talking about camp? Disney. No. What's, tell us the special oh, agenda boy, tomorrow. That. Crazy kid. Who is that? No. Got to end it with a bang. <laughs> Here, Jeff. Did you... The world's biggest Oreo. If you tell us what's what's the programming tomorrow. Oh, then Mikey and I, and then Myers and the Mouse. Okay, big day plan. It's a big day. And uh... oh, don't get sick here. What, are, what you are you doing? Quick, run to the bathroom. Get out of here! Don't get sick here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're such sympathetic what are we parents. Sending in? Hi, Rachel. Oh, we're not sending. We're, we're not sending anything in. We're just Hannah's getting sick because we made her drink a nasty. Oh, yeah, Ew. Ew. <laughs> so, uh, Rachel, if okay. you want to see, if you want to see we're something, su we're gross, such we, a the sympathetic we family. Had, we did a little spin the wheel and oh, like come here, baby. put all these things in the smoothie. Are you sick? And then made Hannah drink it, and now she's in the bathroom because it's 
She said it's coming out her nose. Oh. Oh, oh well, nice. we love you too, Rachel. She's love Rachel. You too, Rachel. Uh, be sure and check out Rachel Loves Disney. She's posting a new video. And we got some mail and just doing some small talk. Oh, that's what they're doing oh, on mail their stream and, now. Well, small talk mail. is good. We like your small talk. <laughs> yep, no, we're not sending anything. We're just kind of finishing things up, taking prayer requests if anybody needs any prayers. No, she's saying, did you get my email? Um, no, she said we I'm got... glad you finally made the email. Oh, yeah, I got your email because I answered, remember? No, when Rachel, said, Thank tell you her for to answering. clean her, her email box out. No... It's only got one email. That is your that is your reminder every time. Michelle, did you clean your mailbox? There we Michelle, go. Michelle, did you clean yes, your mailbox? Yes. Rachel can remind me to clean my mailbox. <laughs> this kernel stuck in my throat. Thank you, Pamela. We are so relieved. Oh man, nice. you almost. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you see my drawing? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to check. I, I oh camera check. Um. <laughs> Oh, that means she sent another email. I thought I set it up to send me like alerts when I got an email, but I haven't. You have. I've had a really crazy day, and I've gotten a lot of notifications. So let me, let me see here if there's something that says I got mail. Uh, no. Nope, you got nope, mail. Nope, 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 nope. Like I said, I'm still learning. M Myrtle wants to be friends. Who's that? My Fitbit. What's <laughs> <laughs> that got? I got. Then my phone's like going crazy. I got like 50 notifications. So, um, oh, Shelly, are you going on tonight? Anyway. Or is the internet I will still check bugging my mail, though? Rachel. We miss Shelly. We miss Shelly. You don't want to see my mailboxes. See, Rhonda, Rhonda says the same thing that she's got a lot of mail in her boxes. I have one. Oh, Rachel can help you out with that too, Rhonda. <laughs> Thank you. She's like, clean your mailboxes out. Just have to go on it every oh, day. Oh, so she sent us a drawing. Well, we'll um, I will yeah. check that, Rachel, and then um, maybe on our next stream, I, you can share your drawing. We're going to be on, uh, let me see. We might go on tomorrow night with Bill and the Tea with Hannah and Michelle. So we're going to talk about all sorts of tea varieties and the properties and their cooling properties. I don't know. But usually that's more like a for fun stream to just hang out. Really so, if anybody wants to hang out, um, you, can, you made your own house cool. Oh, that's awesome, Gabe. What else do we? we what else do we uh, have to say? Um, let's see. I, there's some other things. Did what? I cover everything? I got did it. Did you I, cover I, everything? I wrote all my notes down. Let me see. Oh, this is Gabriel's math. Uh, Medicinal foods. We did that. Okay. Did you give everybody a shout out, moderators? Thank you, moderators. Thank you, moderators. Thanks, moderators. I love you. Special we love you. And a special thank you to Mike if you're still there. Oh yes, you are. I see you. Um, for your good idea about spinning the wheel to pick the food for the smoothie. See, <laughs> what else do we Always have? thinking. Trust me, I have to delete over a hundred emails um, in one day every day. I will oh, be on Mike, tonight. So I was good. up late with my uncle on the phone last night, and I will be. And you will be chilling tonight with his son and family. Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's nice to chill every just once chill. in a while. Chill. I'd like to watch a movie. I like to chill and watch a movie sometimes to just. Chill. You never stay awake. I know because I'm so tired, but I would still like to just chill sometimes. Watch like the um the amazing Miss Paisley May or something keeps coming up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the amazing Miss Maisie May. Maisie. Maisel. Is that a good movie? Because it keeps popping it's up. No, oh, it's a series. Oh, it's a TV series on Amazon. It keeps popping up on our Amazon. Alexa thing. And hey, name saying, name the four Fantastic Four. Huh? Chris Evans. <laughs> no. Invisible the Girl. Fantastic Four. The Thing. Human Torch. No, no, Mom. Human Torch. The Thing. Korg. <laughs> and Iceman. Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> There's only four, Mom. Okay. No, just no. Name five Did Avengers. Name... Oh, 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 Groot. <laughs> Gamora, Star Lord, the blue guy, Iron Man, the blue guy, the blue guy. Hey, you got one. I only got one out of yeah. that. Captain America. Okay, two. And um, don't look like at Thor, Thanos, Captain America. <laughs> Thanos is a villain, mom. <laughs> The Avengers, the original. I thought thing. you meant in the movie. Name, name, 
Name five Golden State Warriors. Can I do it? No. Come Name on. three Golden State Warriors. <laughs> now or ever? Now. Oh, oh, yeah, if you could even name any Golden State Warriors. Oh, 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 I know. Um, the, one, <laughs> the one that's cute. Um, um, with the really pretty eyes and the, and the cute kids. What's his name? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, like you know a... what I'm talking about, right? No, oh, I know. <laughs> um, what is his name? Okay, I'm just gonna say Durant. Durant. That's not who I'm talking about. Durant. Durant. Somebody Durant. Um, I want to say LeBron James, but I don't think he plays for the Warriors. Oh, you know the guy. He, is a, he even has a nickname. And he lives like up here. What's his name? With the curly black hair. What's his name? Help me out. Chris? No. Keith? Stefan. Stefan. Stefan Curry. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. He plays for the Warriors, right? Yep. Stefan Curry. Stefan Curry. Um, how about, how about f- f- four San Francisco Giants? Oh, I, I got this. I got this. Bomb. He doesn't play anymore, but he did. Bomb Garner, the pitcher. Bomb Garner. Bomb Garner. Um, <laughs> and then the, the catcher. What's his name? Bo- Bozy. Buster Posey. Bozy. Buster Posey. And then the guy who was like chanting all the time with the crazy. Um, he was always. He kind of like the rode panda. in on his. No, he rode in on his skateboard. Um, what was his name? And he came. And he was there for like five years. What was his name? I don't think he's there anymore. He was like the hoorah guy. And then there was Buster, um, Buster Mosey. <laughs> and then there was, um, um, the panda. He went to the Red Sox or something came back. Pam, it's end times. And, um, Cats are cuddling. Durant, Durant. <laughs> Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Durant. And then, um, we're talking Giants now, though. SF Giants. Um, no, I know I'm missing somebody. There well, was, like, a whole bunch. What Here. sport is S- the San Francisco Giants? Baseball. <laughs> what is uh, the Golden State Warriors? Basketball. And what's the Oakland Raiders? That's football. Wow. Yes, I've got it. Hey, yeah. have a good night, Jeff. Thanks for coming uh, <laughs> in. Bye, Mr. Jeff. <laughs> Bye, Jeff. Uh, let's see. There's one usually what? wants to take the other's eye out. Oh, our cats are getting Aww. snuggly with each other. There's Brandon Crawford, Brandon Bell. <laughs> oh, that's right. The Hunter two Pence. Hunter Pence. That's the one I was thinking Buster about. Buster Posey, Nasty Thumbgarner. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Jeff. Pablo Sandoval. What's Ooh, that king guy? I can't stand that cupcake. Kane. Are they talking about um, Panda? The Panda? Is that who Gr- Danny's talking about? Who can stand that cupcake? No, oh. Ke- Kevin Durant's the cupcake. Oh, oh I thought Panda was because he got kind of chubby. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a different sport. <laughs> wow. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> who are the Penguins? The penguins? Yeah, who are the penguins? They are a species of animals that live no, in... No, no, sport. What are, what sport are the penguins? Oh. I hope you're not there going yet, Jeff. Oh, they're down in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> and what sport are the penguins? Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it like soccer or something? Uh, how about the pirates? Ooh. Well, there's actually... Well, who are the pirates? <laughs> <laughs> uh, baseball. <laughs> no. Okay, you got baseball. What what city? <laughs> Pittsburgh. Oh. I, no, there's a wow. Pirates football team as well, I think. But you don't know who the Penguins are, huh? Michelle, you did better on the football or baseball players than I would have. Oh, thank you, Pam. Oh, see Aww. Pam. High Pam's five. behind you. <laughs> okay. It's cuz I hear him yelling at the TV. Oh, I have food coming out. Um, I hear him yelling at the I always hear him, Durant used to, or, 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 go, whatever, like, yay, Baumgartner, go, you know, I hear him yelling at the TV, so that's, I hear the names. You know, he's like, it's a foul. And that's who she was talking about, Gilbert Hunter Are Penguins, Pence. I don't know. Are Penguins hockey? Kevin Durant <laughs> left here to win easy championships. Yes, and Penguins out. are hockey. Good oh, job. look at you, Pam. Good job. Oh, I was wrong. But they're not in LA. It's not like an LA hockey team. No, I didn't get the city right either. This is the Broncos. No, no, you don't sound like you're mad, Danny. No, no. Hunter Pence was a pretty good player. 
I remember him because I do remember. He got married, didn't he? He got married or something. Yeah. He was kind of the. Um, he was really good at that. He was kind yeah, of like a good the crazy one player. that came to the team, though. I remember when he was like brand new, like his first season. And, and then they won, right? Hair. Then they win some championships with that. And, Pittsburgh um, Penguins hockey. Look at look at that, Mikey. He's <laughs> got so much knowledge up there. Thank you. I used to play ice hockey, by the way. If Maybe anybody she, didn't know that. I said he went to camp for it or something. I played ice hockey. But I just said that's not really my sport because we had to get up at the crack of dawn to get on the ice because the better teams got it at reasonable hours. And if you were, like, on a really bad team like mine, you had to get up at, like, four. Why? Huh? Why if, you if Michelle up? applied herself, she would have been a really good athlete. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, because Name because all the good hockey players got the ice at good times, like eight in the morning to like nine or nine or ten, or but the people who had less choice had to go either at like nine at night or ten at night or four in the morning. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I want to go back to. Disney World and hang out with all these fine people. Oh, I know. And since everybody Raptors, was gonna... Then we gotta get Gilbert and his family out. Yeah. We actually come to Disneyland, Gilbert. Yeah. Oh, so, have him come out here. Yeah, because he's like close half halfway anyway, halfway. Texas. Halfway. <clears throat> yeah, when you come out to halfway. Disneyland, we'll give you, you guys, you guys, you better tour. tell us. Any of but you. We'll put, yeah, if... Uh, if anybody comes out, yeah. let us know. And if you don't, we're going to block your channel and and harass you. We're only six hours away. Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> no. Hey, we're really excited because now if we drive, we don't no, we don't we're stock. Gonna, now we're really excited to go because there's no traffic. We're like, it'll be the well, first time. I don't time. know about that. Well, Where are the Orlando it's like Solar horrible if down. nobody's ever driven down in LA. Like the traffic, it doesn't matter really when you go. The traffic's always horrible. When is Gilbert coming? So we're we will super be there excited. Next summer. Pam wants to go to Walt Disney oh, yeah. World, too. Danny's going to be there next summer. Where? Disneyland or yeah, Walt Disney? Yeah, Disneyland. He's doing the California. Oh, see, Gilbert says that would be Disneyland. Fine. Who's going to Disneyland? Mr. Danny. That's oh, okay. Danny. That's right. Have... That, I think, yeah, I think I heard that on the stream. Y'all have to come to, to Disneyland. Disneyland. Of course. We'll next year. Home. You'll have to get, like, a big get -together. Someone swing by and pick up Pam. There you go. She deserves to go. Yes. A Disneyland trip. <clears throat> that would be cool. So, um, you should get Pam to help you sell Funko. Oh, oh yeah, she makes a good logo. We got. Well, we have our logo. I know. We but need we, a Funko no, logo. You need, you need a I liked I Spy logo, Collectibles. No I Spy Collectibles. It's you need to raise more money so I can buy more and different Funkos. I'm just not. I think we should do Ice Spy Collectibles. But you know the bat, you know the guy who's really like egging me on is that Gilbert guy. <laughs> Gilbert, who? Oh uh, yeah! Oh my gosh, Rhonda's supposed to be at Walt Disney World right now. So, so were we. Oh. We could have <laughs> met you. Yeah, we were. There. We were we supposed to be there today there. at the Caribbean How? Beach. What oh. at the we one with the, the sand Caribbean in it? Beach? And Frankie was gonna be there. Oh, right at now. the same way. <laughs> And then ah! Jeff. Oh, man. And Jeff and Andrew were there because they live there now. Stupid crazy. Well, they went home, but they would have stayed, I'm sure, if they knew we were going to be there. <laughs> right? They would have stayed. Yeah, I'm not. I guess. I don't know. About, don't, don't like right. I don't know about Maybe that. Not. I think we scared them away. Anybody coming north to get me across the border? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Jonathan. We got <laughs> You definitely yeah, gotta bring Jonathan. Jonathan. Is he in Canada? Yeah, he's in Canada. Oh, no, he was in Canada. These are a Canadian connection. I was supposed to be all this week. So oh, mean. man. That would have been fun. Were you going with something? Were you going with the pe people or are you going like for. And then you gotta get Shelly. See? Yeah. <clears throat> and Mr. Mike. And Someone's Mr. gotta swing the bus by and get Shelly. Oh my gosh, that would be funny. The bus and time. then hit a get Amy. Go up to Canada. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then get swing by, get it Frankie and Jonathan. It would take a week to get everybody there. We, yeah, we need the fun bus. Mike says, "Don't forget him. He was the original one." Oh, definitely. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, no, you're like close to the park, right? Kind of close. Yeah, you. We'll you pick could, you up when we get there. Yeah, we're definitely picking you up. You'll be the last, the one that ends it up, and then. Oh, and Tony's like they're supposed oh, to be Tony, like, Disney World tomorrow. Tony, Fantasmic Chronicles. <laughs> It's oh, interesting what how we out there was the a kids. little there was like a little thing. Oh man. 
Darn. Oh, and Mr. Carbon Danny. We gotta see why I get Mr. Yep. Danny and Mr. Gilbert. Oh, we definitely have to bring Mike. Oh, you had a training conference. I was gonna ask you if it was for work. Which one do have to bring that? Yep. <laughs> I'm in Lake Ontario, Toronto. Oh, sad. I feel like we're missing somebody. Oh, dang. Gilbert's going to Tennessee next week. You better hope you can get back and they don't lock your border again because... What? I, I saw Gilbert. that... Um, well, isn't Houston, like, kind of a hot spot right now? Oh, nice. They're starting to, like, spike again. So, I don't think they're going to do that right now. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, all goes well. I think, they're ex- I think they're expecting this spike, so... Well, anyway. maybe, maybe it's better to be anyway. in Tennessee anyway. What? Where, uh, anyway, bringing the stream down. <laughs> oh, well, I was just warning him. That's all. Try, try, to, be help, try to be helpful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Wah, wah. Oh, my goodness. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, hi, right. Kayla. Well, what are you doing, doggy? She wants her cookie. I know. Did you're she not get it right. No. You're, you're all the Dave and our dog are like best friends oh and my god and probably, wa- get away from the wire she, like, he like hangs all over her she's yeah, such rugrats. a good dog he Hi, rides her like a horse dog. Like, i'm roughly the distance from lax to disneyland <gasps> Ooh. what oh oh the Not wait probably like, get off of me human <laughs> oh from lax to yeah, disneyland up here far. in orlando well, well, that's, well pretty, jeff, that's a ways though we'll have jeff pick him up he'll swing by yeah what's da- dancer what's gilbert doing in uh, tennessee Takes me. Go Are you going sightseeing? It gets me roughly thirty to thirty-five minutes, depending on traffic. Ooh, yeah, it gets right. me. Oh, well, in LA, from LAX, it would take you like how long does it take? Like an hour. <laughs> Gatlinburg. Are you doing? Do you like pick me up some orange moonshine <laughs> for Danny. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how much you would. It would cost a rent a fun yeah. bus. <laughs> a fun bus. Yeah. I'm just driving around. Ooh, let's pick everybody up. <laughs> you almost have that to take a whole funny. month off, huh? Yeah, it would be like, you need an RV. Insane. And then we'd stay there. <laughs> then we could have bathrooms on the bus. <laughs> Y'all have to find your own way back, though. Fun bus only goes Oh, it's a one way <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, then we're gonna Moonshine. Then we're going to break the wall. I think I think Tony already said that orange, right? Orange moonshine. <laughs> What's orange moonshine like? The sun? Electric and or electric oh, orange Sugarlands or- Distillery. That oh man, the South. I've never had that before. Yeah, that must be a South thing. We south. don't have mo- moonshine. I don't think we have moonshine. What's moonshine over here? like a beer? In the Bay Area, <laughs> it's like a whiskey. I don't even know what moon- I just know. Is it legal? <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like. It's like a alcohol of some kind, like Gabe. really strong, I think. Anyway, we don't drink it. Obviously, you can tell. <laughs> Maybe some sake, anyway. but uh, that's about it. I have had Gilbert. Will you be able to mail it to me, please, if I pay you for it? Should I? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You guys can you guys can hook up on Instagram. <laughs> work it all out <laughs> the place where you can chit chat is tomorrow so you know save it for time no on the stream yeah and don't forget yeah Danny apple will be... pie is a flavor choice for dragon con oh Ooh, i love apple pie. pie i also love like love apple fat, pie blackberry pie but apple pie is some more hidden yes this way. i'm trying Asian to help you out next weekend <laughs> cool are you, no, wait, do you guys live near each other? Does Tony, Tony and Danny live nearby, huh? I think they live near each other. Maybe. I could be wrong. It's hard to keep up with all the different localities. We've got Michigan people in New yeah, York. Yeah, we got Kansas people, Florida, Michigan people, Oklahoma, Kansas, 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 Canada. I think um, Lena oh, yeah, and yeah. Myers and the Mouse, I think, are in Kansas. Kansas. I could be wrong about that. Though, Kansas, too. yep. Kansas. Okay. Yes. And then we got California and, and Texas and Canada and Japan and Taiwan and Philippines. <laughs> um, oh, see. Tony's in Ohio. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got people. The from potato all over the state. And even a the apple pie is dangerous because it doesn't countries. even taste like alcohol. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Um, is apple pie supposed to taste like alcohol? 
<laughs> well, I think if it is moonshine, I don't know if what they're is moonshine. I don't know. It's um flavored that flavor, I guess. I thought moonshine was like where you go out to get like the rays from the moon. Oh, that's that. That's what moon is. Yep, that's it. Exactly. You soak up the rays from the moon. <laughs> that's what I thought. Moon and then you shine. <laughs> no, mom. It's like moon bathing, like you know, sun bathing, but like I'm like I'm wanting to go for a drive. Maybe we can go. To, maybe we can go one of the nights. Not tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. It's kind of cloudy. We gotta pick a clear day and go away from the city and go stargazing because yeah, and then get lost in the woods. Before and then people we're really get back, gotta get before people get back out on the woods, get out on the roads because um, we you were have to have about, a cell signal, you know. What? No, I'm saying just for us to go stargazing like at nighttime. Oh, don't you want to bring them? Well, yeah, yeah we can. I mean, bring you're making them. plans, and then you're not gonna include the. the well, I don't know. The if they, yeah, the it's like saying we're seeing. So I'm gonna have this big birthday party. I'm gonna invite everybody <laughs> but you. <laughs> Sorry, it's well, just. <laughs> I'm sure we would have a cell signal if we were like up high in the mountains or something. But I would just love to see the sky with see the. But the stream would ruin the lighting. <laughs> I want it wow. dark. Like so I want to go at star nine, where it's eight, dark. Seven, six, five, <laughs> four. Oh, nobody's watching. Negative anymore. ten. Uh, no, I'm just saying to go up like away from everything to just stargaze and see. Shelby yeah. would be up for that. Yeah, we could try that. I mean, I guess we could cover the screen or something and figure a way out to do it. I don't know. It would be cool. You, you know, but, you can adjust well, we could your do screen it. Well, no, you know, what we could do is do it first and check it out and then invite everybody in to view. If it works. Us. So if it doesn't work, it even... means we don't, mom does not want it quiet? No, it means that we have no cell yeah, signal. Yeah, probably. Either that, so we could do spilling the tea from the mountaintop. I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah. We bring our teapot. And Pop and Monarch would, a nice good he wouldn't stump. let us go by ourselves, so it would be we like get a family lost, trip. and then we really have to make a fire for real. Uh, we'd be like, oh, we should have bought that survival stuff. We should just bring the book just in case, you know. <laughs> Atlanta. Here. We're in Oklahoma. Now I'm looking at it. Ohio, Oklahoma, the camera doesn't Atlanta. really catch any, like, pimples, like your... Our face That's because looks... Daddy has a special lens on that like blends it all out. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, look it. Our logo kind of matches my shirt. A little bit. And we're in California, in case anybody didn't know. They're all typing in where they're from. We are in the... Wait. The is... mic's in Florida. I always get confused with this. Yeah, they're going to go Where is me? That's what Pam says. She wants to go um, up north camping in the... In the next week or two, and check out That's the awesome. Dark Sky Park. That nice international really cool. dark zone up here. What's that, Shelly? That sounds like. Yeah, what is that? The headlands, the dark zone. Ninth international dark zone. What is that? It sounds interesting. I'm trying to think. We haven't been camping. Maybe we just need to go camping for a couple days. We should film. We should like... just. We should just take a couple days off and go camping. Yeah, we, haven't been camping we should just time. take a couple days off, even go like overnight camping, so we could sleep in a tent. The kids have never in slept a in a tent before. I want to get other than dirty on a bathe in a river. Of course, nobody would ever pee in their pee, pant, pee in the bed. <laughs> yeah. We don't want any bedwetters in the tent. Doesn't it like? Doesn't it like prevent like water from leaking into us? It also prevents water from leaking out, so then everybody <laughs> would be sharing. <laughs> it's gonna be. Real. We'll put them in their own sleeping bag. No, Shelly's saying. Shelly says you look at the stars. I'm trying to read your emojis, like the stargazing is what I'm getting, right? Stargazing, star telescope, the ninth, ninth international dark zone. So, is it like a special spot where they all turn the lights out, or is it just an area that's always dark and then they have everybody go and stargaze? They shut down the whole state so we can see the stars. That would be that would be cool. It's a park near Mackinac, Mackinac, I can't pronounce it, Bridge. Mackinac. Mackinac Bridge, and there are no outside light pollution where you can stargaze. Oh, man, that would be amazing. And then the reflection probably from the stars on the lake Good or the moon. Again. And it's probably even better if it's less of a full moon. The moon's been pretty full. But um, because if it's less of a full, because the, the full moon, when it's like a full moon, it's bright out and it's dark, <coughs> that's like lights up. <coughs> Like you don't even need a flashlight. That's how full the moon. Can we can see be. the northern yeah. lights? 
No, I don't think I've ever seen it over here. I think she's asking. Or maybe Mac. up, up near I Shelley. I think she's asking. I think she's yeah, asking Shelley. Maybe Shelley. And, uh, Ron, and, uh, like, oh, I'm sorry. The Antarctica or something. Excluded. Alaska. <laughs> Aren't they located up in like Norway, like really north? It's north no. Japan, so they can see them. Really? Yeah, it's up. It's up. Or you could see them from New York too. When I grew up in the Adirondacks, uh, we could Aurora, see them. We could, yeah, we could see them from the Adirondacks. That would but be pretty. It wasn't. I don't remember seeing them too often. Plus, I was young and I probably had no idea what I was looking. I didn't appreciate what are those weird lines. Yeah, I didn't appreciate stuff? a lot of the things when I was growing up until I moved away, and I was like, <sighs> we had the most amazing. You guys don't know, but um, I grew up in Ithaca, New York, and yeah, it's so known. Everybody knows that. Okay, well, and maybe I've <laughs> said this before, but it's known for it's it's um what do you call it? its logo is called Ithaca is gorgeous, but meaning gorges like all the gorges were like carved out from the icebergs and stuff, the. Is it icebergs? <laughs> Avalanches? What is that? What is it that cars it? Glaciers. Glaciers. That's what I was thinking of. Icebergs. Is that, is that icebergs? <laughs> Glaciers carved a lot of, um, the Finger Lakes were carved. And then in addition to the Finger Lakes were the um, glaciers carved all the uh, waterfalls. So there's like tons of gorges and waterfalls and like swimming, like swimming areas. Wouldn't they be like really cold? <laughs> they are yeah. cold, but... Um, it was just always there. Like, I mean, right behind my high school was like Ithaca Falls. I Danny mean, can buy moonshine. It came down and then there was Taganic Falls and Truman Falls and like all these state parks with like all these beautiful <laughs> Ooh, that's waterfalls. that's nice, Miss Rhonda. And you could go swimming. The 21st you know, century, I can now buy moonshine here. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> but I should be good. Oh, did you like just Google that? Did you go online and be like, yeah, right. I can get it here. Now we got. I have friends there. Oh, Rhonda, you have friends in Ithaca? Who? That's We'd pretty like cool. To... This um, is... Do they are they up so by Cornell? Unlike. Like, um, because like I'm Cornell on University coast, is like on, on one hill, kind of Lake takes Michigan. like the whole hill. But anyway, <laughs> I did not appreciate um all the beauty there was when I was growing up there, and how the lawns were so green. And then um, I did enjoy the Finger Lakes. Um, we had a place on Huga Lake, so that was a nice. And I am over here and have no idea what she's talking about. It was a really nice spot to go it's and get away. Lake. I've never been. The Finger Lakes. There's five because you have five fingers. There's five Finger Lakes that were carved from the uh, glaciers from God's in the fingers. middle of like upstate New York. And they're really huge lakes, but they're all, you know, next to each other. They go parallel. So there's like a hill that goes up and then you go down the hill and there's another lake. But it's big, like 40 miles, 60 miles. And they're pretty big. Um, God, we can imprint on this. Ours is pure Michigan. It's on the west coast in the coast of Lake Michigan. Here, I'll talk about. Um, anyway, well, Ron and I'll have to we'll have to chat about our friends in Ithaca. Um, a lot of there's like a lot of students. It's kind of known as a student. Ta- what is it? Student. How big is it? There's is like it thirty thousand. It's a city of thirty thousand, but I think that might be when the students are there, and then when they leave, it's like eighteen thousand or twenty thousand. So that's not a very big city, but um, anyway, I don't know how I got on that topic of Ithaca. Oh, just to appreciate it, because in addition to that, and the Finger Lakes region is known as the wine um, region, kind of how we have Napa Valley here. Not up to the caliber, I would say, of like Napa Valley, but it is known as the Finger Lakes is also known for their wines. They're a little different grapes, the Rieslings. Um, where they grow them. So there was a whole lot of wineries. I think more wineries honestly opened up after I moved away because I don't remember them being there when I was a kid, but it's students. State University of New York. Is that what you're saying? SUNY? SUNY. The dark zone is on the west coast. SUNY there. I think that's what you're saying. Is it, Are you asking if it's sunny here or are you saying SUNY? For SUNY State University in New York, it's, which is the name of the colleges in Ithaca, or not in Ithaca, she but in she can be York. talking about that TV brand, Sony. No, Sony. she's not talking about Sony. Anyway, everyone's Gosh, lost. They're like, what are we talking about? I hear, are you ready to show us a show? Are you ready to show them something? No. No? Huh? I'm, I'm looking at Oh, he's looking oh. at something. There is also an observatory at the... Oh. Do- oh, it's rained. 
That's a bummer. That was also the thing about the weather in Ithaca. It was always unpredictable. School, yeah. It's the SU State University New York School. Uh, I'm assuming maybe she's going to school there? Or I didn't think there was one in Ithaca, though. There was Cortland. SUNY Cortland, maybe? In, mm. in Oswego, Utica. And there was somebody else on our stream. Who is it that lives up there? Oh, Tina. Tina lives up in New York. Oh, yeah. Did you know that, Rhonda? She lives up there, too. She's Not too got far. A Boston accent. SUNY Fredonia. Oh, maybe the same person. I've never heard of SUNY Fredonia, though. I know I've heard of like SUNY, like, Oswego or Oswego because my friend went to one of those schools. Open it. So, anyway. Um, I hear stuff. He's confusing me. What else? I think that's. I think that's it. Um, so we have game night Sunday night, and it's a surprise. <laughs> Who wants to write exhibition papers? Oh, you guys want to stick around for this? Yeah. Oh. Oh well, it's okay. If it's okay that we're dark, he's gonna show you Expedition Everest, and then we'll come yeah. back to say goodbye. You are? Are okay. you ready for it? All right. Okay. Does it? And we need a camera check while you're doing that. Last time, <laughs> you know, we're on. Are you joking? <laughs> we're, on right now. we're on black. We gotta, we gotta we're talk to them. Oh, we have to talk to them. Yeah, for a second. Oh, okay. Can we say goodbye? Not yet. Oh, not yet. What happened? Uh, what happened uh, in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, don't pinch me. Don't pinch me. Timing. So I think he's looking for a sixty minute. Right. I think this was the first time we went on this ride and I took the gimbal not knowing what to expect and the thing went like stark raving crazy like it went backwards it went, I didn't even and then we were gonna go I didn't know it went backwards what you expected so you can see here I was like oh the gimbal's working really good but then it got all crazy and we were streaming so it kind of cuts out what did you expect when you see the tracks what did you think was gonna happen I don't know, but I think, I don't know when it started picking up speed. Like, at first it started out, and I'm like, oh, this is good. And I know, because like, oh, I watched this. I'm like, I want to go to Disney World. I want to ride the ride that goes back. This is their ride. It was so exciting. Yeah, it looks like it's up to so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
Disappeared. Right. I don't know. Yeah. We're still here. Yeah, I can't see. Did you do your camera check? Did you turn back on? I don't know. You're not here. Oh no, he lost yeah. us. Like you can just four. <laughs> camera four. Is that a garm? I don't know. Did you see a garm? No. Anyway, I guess we're just gonna have to say good night with our voices. I, I think I think for some reason you're not. Good night. <laughs> I don't know. He's playing with Just all the buttons. Just don't say anything embarrassing. Don't do anything. You know what? We'll let him play with his buttons and see. Oh, if... there you are. Oh, oh wait, okay. I, I knew he could work his magic. It's that. Know. It's that Disney magic. Anyway, um. We will see you real soon. Yeah, we will. We'll see you guys real soon. Have an awesome. And don't forget to smash that like button if you're new. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Gabe. He's like doing all of our um. He's doing all of our, what do you call it, PR well, we post credits. He's doing all our PR for us. So anyway, um, we'll see you real soon. <laughs> I guess we're gonna see you real soon. Have a great Bye, guys. Great night, everyone. I Take care. You. We see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs>